this wasn't live the whole time what i had to press uh, go live on youtube because apparently that's how it works somehow but anyways let me play my permission first because i can't you watch dsp stuff without permission so let's get the permission on a live restream and joke about it fine lampoon me all you want you want to think this is how you don't play videos fine perfect okay now we can carry on to making fun of him uh some music first let me get everything kind of set gonna get a quick round of twitter then uh we're gonna go down the rabbit hole on the whole uh copyright conspiracy kiwi farms new guard old guard civil war drama stuff and it's pretty interesting i can't deny so we're gonna get into it i'm gonna skip through a bunch of dsp's video because i've seen it already i know the the good parts and i know the worthless parts so we can get actually to the to the actual point and that's about it tomorrow we got a podcast we're gonna be four people and it's gonna be very interesting four people five people it's gonna be a lot of fun okay i hope the audio is good otherwise i'm just kind of rambling over loud music uh but if it's bad then i don't know if it was bad, then you would have told me a long time ago that it was bad. Bleh. Extended their memberships. 
uh, despite there being not a lot of content to their channel, I'm gonna give them shout outs now. But I'm gonna give shout outs to both of them because I can't get all of them. But I'll do the most recent ones first, all right? Big ups, Paypig Destroyer, Down Forward Punch, MJ, Big ups, Chris78, Big ups, Ry Drake, Big ups, Omega Kirk, uh, Big ups, uh, The Danarchist, Rampant Bonsai, Black Maid 666, Big ups, Carl, Big ups, Zerg, Spooniton, Mind of the North Star, uh, Navi, Nathan, Charlotte, Big ups, uh, Grug, Burp, Nell. And I guess those are the ones. Oh, big ups, Justice Cam, X Mortis, T Tony T, big ups, Blast, big ups, uh, Detractor Maiden, big ups, everybody else as well that I didn't get. And good morning, everyone waking up now. And if you woke up before now, also good morning. This is still the morning, alright? So let's uh instead of music let's do some me? some kind of fast recap of stuff because music is is not creating any value it's just kind of music oh look it's uh we can stream snipe uh, mark it's goldbridge bro <laughs> let's just go and troll him in chat he he really takes the bait and uh he takes the piss off a bunch of people it's really fucking fun so yeah may oh no it's sub only mode uh rip he's gonna do a watch along of the game i guess uh, anyways, let's go watch some, uh, how would you call it, Snored Burnell. But don't count this as an actual part of the stream. Count this as a, I don't know, as a the intro. So I could actually be off camera and just sit around and listen. All right? Which one was the last one that we watched? I streamed last, what was it, last weekend, I think? Sunday, maybe? So let's see the recent stuff. Paranoid about strikes i think we, we probably watched this one i'm pretty sure we watched this one the massive rant on on evil aj then i guess let's just play some random one full slow day plus rage quitting and multiverses two copyright strikes okay this is way too early way too early for that this is him being terrible at street fighter and paranoid about strikes in apologizing to Evil AJ, let's see this. I'm not really familiar with this. On content, I'm literally. Do I started this? I have no idea. Never mind. Let's just experience this thing. And when I'm ready, we're gonna start with the actual stuff. Uh, hopefully, sound is gonna be okay. If it's not, then that sucks ass, man. I wish I could do something about it. Uh, I'll do it for next time. If it's good. Then great, shower me in compliments and praise so I can build an incredible, immense ego over making fun of DSP. Let's uh, let's get into it. I'm good. Sounds good to me. I can tell but you. remember, this is still the intro. So don't complain if you don't like the stream because it hasn't started yet. You see, we're implementing some DSP strategies. Advanced strats. Already. I've already received multiple threats today. People who outright said... Things like, we are going to try to false copyright strike your channel today, you know, because we don't want you reacting to your own content, because I hate to tell you, the original This Is How You Don't Plays are my own content. I'm literally, literally reacting to my own gameplay and the comments on my own videos. It's my content. <laughs> so that's why they said we're going to try to falsely hit you with takedowns, because it wouldn't be legit, you know? But there's nothing, you know, the, the question is really, is YouTube equipped to handle false? I like to think at this point in my history, I would hope so. Because here's the deal. Um, as you know, I'm a full-time YouTuber now. I have been for a while. I know for a fact that people hit, try to hit me with false all the time. All right? And the good news is, and again, knock on wood, in the last year to, when was it? May of last year? So about a year, year and a quarter that I came back and became a full-time content creator uh, on YouTube. I basically uh, have had no issues. So you know that they've tried it and nothing stuck. Thank God. That doesn't mean that today won't be the day. The Phil drama show every day. Stop being a drama queen. Masterclass in DSP. Masterclass DSP. Masterclass. Dude, it never worked, but you never know. It might work today. So stick around and find out. Only on DSP Gaming. You're wrong. Okay, well... 
<laughs> let's be honest here, the stream could just go down. Now, I can't be DDoS attacked or DDoS attacked because no one has my IP address. I think. I don't foresee that one happening. Like I said, if people were going to DDoS me, it would have already happened. And it hasn't happened, okay? The more likely case is a false copyright strike. Meaning, someone tries to false claim something on DSP Gaming to get the channel to basically be negatively affected during the event. Now, here's the thing, all right? I actually don't know how that will affect anything, all right? I don't. I don't know if I get a false copyright strike if that means I can't stream or if you need multiple false copyright strikes that you can't stream. I don't know because it hasn't happened, right? Since I've become a full-time streamer here on YouTube, I haven't had anything hit me. So I don't even have the experience to know that if a false strike comes in, how that would affect me. I wish I could answer the question, but... I'm just going to assume, for the sake of argument, all right, that if I get hit with a false copyright strike, that I can't stream anymore. So if we're streaming and all of a sudden this stream goes down out of nowhere, all right, I will have some backups in place, okay? I will. So never fear. The By the way, he had absolutely no backups. He had no backup plan. While the trolls already explored all of the backup plans he could have, he didn't. He had not done that. He didn't know what backup plans he would have. But he just bluffed that he was going to have them. The stream but he didn't. Will continue. But what I would say Literally, his main source of income has no idea what he's going to do. He just has the general vague concept of streaming somewhere else. Hey, you would think if I'm going to get hit by a false copyright strike, likely they're going to hit me for gameplay purposes. So if that's the case, then what we'll do is we will just swap over to the closet cleanout portion of the marathon, which in its own right is going to take a long time anyway. In addition, and again, even if you wanted to argue otherwise, I have permission to react to what I'm reacting to today anyway, which I showed yesterday, and I'll show again today. I have outright permission to do it, okay? So this is 100% allowed and fair use and if anything happens it's fake anyway so all that being said if anything negative happens to this channel all right today and if the stream goes down this uh i think tevin mentioned this but uh there's a weird thing about dsp and the the phrase uh false cop copyright strikes because he will never admit they're real they will always be false copyright strikes for him he would never say they're real so yeah, this whole thing is about if I get a copyright strike, oh, it's gonna be false. Of course it's gonna be. You're never gonna admit it was real. Just like when they age-restricted his videos because of the transphobia shit. And he was like, oh, so my videos got hit with some shit. Some, some like bullshit. I don't even know what it was. Down. But we're gonna get to all of that later. This is still the intro. All right. I will contact you via my Twitter. I'll try to do a community post. If I even need to do like a quick upload, I'll let you know what happened. And I'll let you know where to go so that we can continue on. But what we'll essentially do is we'll jump over to the uh, closet cleanup portion of the stream and just chill and we'll focus on that. This is a bad intro. This is a bad that has intro. Been years and years in the making. Welcome to something that. I have been requested to do for a very, very, very long time. Guess what just happened? I just stepped on my video capture device, which freezes it. And now I have to restart fucking OBS to get it to work again. This is why I need a new... I told you guys I need a new setup. I need a new PC and everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same way a, a child would tell their parents they want a new PC. Oh, you see, I've tried to play, but... Yeah, you see, it doesn't even open, open your files. That's why I need a new PC. Look at it, how slow it is. Don't you agree, Mom? I literally stepped on the USB cable and... <laughs> it's such, like, baby shit. It's such baby shit. I cannot believe a grown man is doing this. And it actually works. I can't believe this. You heard the sounds like... Doo -doo -doo. So now I disconnected it. It won't capture. Damn. I can restart OBS to get it to work again. Yes, that was my shit. <laughs> Oh, and it, it was all in character, by the way. All his racism, being a toxic asshole, it was all in character. Expert level game player right here. Remember, I am, or could be, one of the top gamers in the country if I wanted to. I can be good at games if I want to. If I actually want to take a minute to try to be serious with it, I can do it. 
for some reason, it wasn't until I played this game that people all of a sudden, oh my God, he why he said he was so good at games. He's the, one of the best gamers in the country. Listen, here's the problem with the internet, all right? Really, is that some people can understand sarcasm or a running joke and some don't. Those who understood the joke liked me. Why do you think I was popular? You're a running joke, DSP, but much like Boogie, you can't even run. 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12. It wasn't until the video like this came out, that this is how you don't play series, that basically people were like, oh, well, Phil's serious, and therefore, here's let's expose him for not being good. It's like, but wait, you didn't get the joke. It wasn't a joke. You DSP. really didn't. Because people that are bad at games, uh, and and get toxic like that it's a natural thing it's not you putting on a character it's easy to see a character back in the day when all the the dudes were playing amnesia the dark descent and they were just screaming at it you can see who was real who was fake and the fake dudes couldn't manage to build their channels up and the real dudes managed to turn into fucking markiplier and pewdiepie and stuff like that and people saw through you dsp come on didn't get it did you and it's okay to make fun of my my shortcomings because you know what? There was a ton of them. That was kind of the point. But some people just didn't get it. And then they turned it into an entire toxic movement against me. Oh, Phil doesn't deserve anything because he's a bad gamer and he insults everything and everyone around him. It's like, that was the joke, man. How do you not get it? Uh, I just... I don't like how he made this narrative about Phil doesn't deserve anything because he's a bad gamer. Who fucking says this? Where did this come from? And he's talking about it like it's the general consensus. Oh yeah, Phil, he, he's terrible at games, man. He should live on the street. Just, you know, I <laughs> You know, I don't know. So anyway, that being said, um, Shout out that being said. King of the pigs. Huh? Wait. I did check, and I did receive a $25 tip from One Minute Man uh, so far today. So that is the biggest contribution so far. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. 57. With that, we have hit the tier one tips goal for today. Keep in mind, guys, this stream we're doing right now is my one stream of the day. We got about one more part of me reacting to Metal Gear Solid 2, or this is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid 2. And then after that, um... We're doing the closet clean out, which probably will be much longer. I'm thinking it's going to take three. All right, we're going to actually start the stream. Let's move on to this thing. Welcome, everybody. I said earlier what we're going to do. We're going to explore the DSP 2 copyright strike saga and his address and him pleading the trolls for mercy. Uh, this is the channel, the new layout. So it's different, I guess. Uh, let's let's get it to this shit. Let's not waste our time with uh, nonsense three or more hours to do the closet clean oh yeah first wait 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 we have to go on twitter and we have to do a bunch of plugs hold on first of all that being said uh memberships are on for all the amazing benefits you can go there and become a member if you like the podcast if you like the podcast go subscribe and drop a like and uh tomorrow we're doing something cool so stay tuned uh tomorrow we're having on eve and we're having on uh, Baxter Zivchenko, everybody. Big ups. It's the, the dude who made the DSP Narcissism mega video. So make sure you go check him out in preparation. And uh, yeah, today we're going to watch the same stuff that we're going to talk about on the podcast. So yeah, basically this. Uh, now on this tab is Twitter. On Twitter first, before we get into the actual strikes, we should finish this video because uh it's gonna fill us up on some lore that happened i guess before the strikes so what we're watching now is dsp's actual event and watching the this is how you don't play the whole time he was allegedly super paranoid about uh, getting a strike well he didn't get any for that and by evil aj but uh he did get some after that because he basically challenged the trolls to strike him and they did so we're gonna see about that, but first, uh, let's watch this video, okay? Left, but this is my only stream for today, so if you're thinking of supporting, basically, you know, this is two streams in one, it would be great if we could hit some tips goals to make up for the fact there's only one stream today, okay? I'm just low effort, low, low <clears throat> excitement, everything I do, 
is just for money, of course, right? It's not my fault. <laughs> no, oh, come on, dude. It's for the passion. What's going on? He said, he said he he's partially. I'm not old. saying that. And that was it's Evil AJ who said that, by the it's way. What? What a shock that Evil AJ says the thing that you're not supposed to say on the internet, right? This, by the way, remember this. This ties into the, the age restrictions later and the other stuff that he got. Wow. By the way, this is going to make DSP look very good later on. It Age is great. What a shocker. What a shocker. He highlights his own fucking comment, too. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Gin is great. I like my own videos. Why if I don't like them, know who's going to like them? If I don't like my stuff, why do I expect other people to like them? Speaking of which, you can like the stream right now. And uh, that's going to give me a million dollars per like. Yeah, I made an agreement with uh, Susan. I wonder if a comment like that is what got AJ banned. Because you can't say that on YouTube. No. And if you allow those kind of comments on your videos, you could get in trouble. <laughs> we'll see Maybe what, what kind of shit YouTube allows from Phil. Saw it and I banned him we'll because see. of it. And that's what started the whole thing. Oh, yeah. And now we're, we're making a, a specific scenario that he banned him for hateful slurs. And that's what started the whole thing. What if that happened? By the way, DSP does exactly the same shit that he complains incessantly the trolls do to him, which is literally making up and fantasizing about different scenarios so, so they could believe themselves more. Because with the trolls, it's like that. With the One Minute Man thing, it was the same thing. Speculating that One Minute Man is Phil, One Minute Man is not Phil. He's tipping himself, he's not tipping himself, and so on. It's just like speculations without any evidence which is exactly what the fuck he does i have no idea i have no I'm idea i'm just guessing this is him leaving a comment on the plate yeah oh with the guessing we're gonna get into it later on i guess the way that people told me the way that i understand things is that wigs got deplatformed gee i wonder what led him to get banned from my comments right what i will say is this i will make a public apology to evil aj today and say that I don't feel that the intention of this video was anything malicious. I don't feel like he was trying to take money out of my pocket with this video. I don't feel like he even Oh, knew. by the way, this is him uh, exploiting the Project 7 stuff again. He's wearing a gaseous snake thing. Uh, beret. Uh, is the TTS gonna play? No TTS? Uh, big up Swickful for the 242 uh, tip. It's not even that he's bad at games anymore. It's actually quite boring. People tune in to simply see his lies, retcons, and begging. This is how you don't plays have been uh, pretty awful for years unless they focus on those things mentioned. I think it, that, that is pretty much true. That The games are not really a draw anymore. Unless it's a big game that he's going to suck at a lot. I think, first of all, most people watch DSP because simply he is there. He is there every day. He is there at the same time. And he usually takes the same day off, even though that's not always true. So people kind of build a habit to swing by, check out. If you're a troll, you can just look up how much money he made and laugh at him if he didn't make a lot of money. And if you like him, you can just go there and fucking like him and talk to him and do whatever you want. So I think mostly people are, are watching him out of convenience and because he is there. And he is something that you can always go into chat and talk about whether you like him or not. You can always just ramble some stuff about and fill up your time. So yeah, I don't think people are watching him for his gameplays, for his good topics of discussion on his podcast, his gaming knowledge, or anything else that is, is positive to say. When he made this kind of video that eventually it would become what happened with the insane amount of people hating me on the internet. All right? And I guess at some point, someone had actually said... That I had said that I said that evil AJ could have been the reason why I was swatted. I don't believe that. No, I think that, that was that's me being very bullshit. angry in the moment at what had happened. Yeah, that was me being a fucking drama queen. That's what you should say. Me being very angry at the moment. Really, you're gonna say evil AJ, dude, with a compilation of you being bad at fucking games, is gonna make it so somebody shows up to your house or gets you swatted or whatever. Um, it's like was... you know, with it, it's like if you watch this stream and you go and you do something to fill. It's like. You were going to do that shit anyways, weren't you? Come the on. The video that started the movement of negativity towards me, this is not what got it careening out of hey, control. Hey, big ups, uh, Jay Ruiz and Tyler Grimmy for the memberships. Tyler Grimmy says, are you the guy? 
I might be. We'll see. Wait and see how it happens. Me swap. If you guys want to see if I'm the guy or not, keep watching this stream. Me. Because it might get taken down at any point. And false copyright strike my business into oblivion. Okay? That was not what this was. Okay? So I want to make an po apology to him. And now we're making an regard. apology. Because what I do feel like maybe I said off. things over the years that were completely unfair <laughs> about him in that regard only. The guy still has stalked me for 10 years. Pretty much Stalk? every moment commented on me on his Twitter. He probably commented today on his Twitter about this very event. Um, and he still won't leave it alone. Uh, pig boy oink oink. Does Stalked me on Twitter, by the way, is incredible. Care about it's incredible. About anything but personal profits. That's fucked up. And I think he needs to move on from that. But what I will say is, as of now, I moved on from him. I don't need to care about this video. Uh, I you are literally bringing it up after 10 years to react to it and address every single comment that is in the video. Yes, you care about it. You care about it. Maybe as much as he cares about it. Maybe. See what it is? I know, I know now it wasn't malicious. I'm sorry if I said stuff that resulted in any kind of negative backlash saying stuff like that, because I don't think it is, you know? I apologize to, to, to Evil AJ for anything that I said over the years in regards to this video or the other This Is How You Don't Play in particular. I definitely was in the wrong. I apologize for that. For all the other fucked up things he did to me, I don't apologize. He's a fucking jerk for doing that other stuff, but this in particular wasn't bad. What's okay. the other stuff that he did to him? Directly Evil AJ. What did he do exactly? Maybe he did something, I just don't know. Okay. All right, so that is it. No one's really talking. What's going on? We have over 400 people on the stream. Why is no one talking? <laughs> Hello? Hi, everybody. Hello? But outside of that, guys, thank you so much. Please have a good evening. Until, well, not until next time for this, but thank you for chilling. I'm sure we'll be doing more chill kind of stuff like this in the future. But for now, this is DSP signing off saying thanks a lot. Let's bust out our mobile phones and let's get ready to play mobile games. Evil AJ is an attention yeah, champion's time. Fucking, you know. Wait, what? What? Hold on. This is the next day. Uh, loser. You know what? Yo, you said you're sorry yesterday. <laughs> what a fucking DSP moment. Mobile phones and let's get ready to play. Mobile game. This is right the next day. AJ is a fucking loser. AJ is an attention seeking fucking, <laughs> you know, uh, loser. He always was. He was someone who was so butthurt at me because I blocked him from talking in my video comments many, many years ago, over a decade ago. Yeah, so he made a fucking video about you. Like, what? Oh, that he took it upon himself to obsess over this. Obsess over this. So badly, he made the first This Is How You Don't Play. Yeah, it's not a fucking hard video to make. It's just clips of you being bad at the game. Come on. Children edit videos like that. And he was probably a kid back then too, or a teenager, since he was watching you, obviously. So here we are 10 years later. This guy has stalked me over the- Stalked years. me. Tried to hunt me down. He tried to hunt me down. In ranked matches. In ranked matches. In Street Fighter games. Oh, then no. lagging up his connection to cheat and get cheesy wins and then actually upload montages oh, no. of him beating me in Street Fighter. He literally just the other day says on Twitter, Phil still won't admit that I'm better than him in Street Fighter. <laughs> this is how much of a petty man baby he is. You, okay, you just called him a fucking no life loser. And you're gonna beef about the fucking Street Fighter stuff with him? You're actually gonna take the bait? Really? Oh, uh, he's a fucking stupid loser. But did you see what he posted on Twitter? What, you look at his fucking Twitter now? Oh, uh, I thought he, he pays no attention to anybody. He doesn't care about anybody, especially the trolls. They can do whatever they want. But did you see what he said on his Twitter? What? What are you talking about? I don't know, Full DSP. This is your fucking stream. Matches online with laggy <laughs> connections in imperfect ports of Super Turbo over the years, cheating to win. You're not better than me, Street Fighter. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> he made all these fucking excuses. He made like five excuses at least. Five separate excuses. Oh, you played me on this broken game, but also on a bad connection, but also 
uh, with the Mercury, was it retrograde? So it did obviously work. <laughs> you fucking loser. <laughs> oh, and he played his own cliche fucking meme. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. The sad fact is he's actually serious. He actually, in his little mind, believes that he's serious. That, that he's better than me. I mean, anyway. That being said, to get attention once again, trying to get attention off of Big me, that being said. he tried to privatize his... He tried to privatize, by the way. He uses the, the word wrong. ...video of this is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid Yeah, you're too. still butthurt course, about it. didn't do anything it. because... It didn't do anything. ...a million people who don't like him all gave me ridiculous <laughs> amounts of links to it all over the internet. Oh, and so, wow. Look at the, the fucking little flex. Oh, it's so important that people send me links. Do people send you links? The project went forward as planned. Loser. Keep in mind, I was completely protected by fair use law. <clears throat> Excuse me. As well as him giving me permission. Yeah, DSP, you fucking joke. You fucking joke. What did you think would happen? To re react to the video. Jesus, imagine getting this insecure over a game when you're 40. This is why this boy is best Larko. Man, at, at this point, it feels like almost everything he does is out of insecurity. Because he put his name on Twitter back to the unstoppable. After pleading trolls. Pleading trolls. That's, that's him using the word. I plead. Trolls to, to have mercy on him and not take him down. And he put the fucking unstoppable in his, uh, in his uh, name. What a fantastic dude. And all, everything he does just screams insecurity. Oh, months prior, but he was such a fucking idiot, he had forgotten all about it. He was an idiot. It. Okay? I don't, anyway. think, I don't think he cares that much, man. He privated a video. You got mega pissed. Talked about it for a combined maybe hour and a half? Maybe an hour. If you combine every single clip. And in the end, nothing happened. So you made the drama. Um... It went well, all right? It definitely went well. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's <laughs> WWE Champions time. time. I, I love, love it. it. I, I love, love it. it. So you saw nothing happen. He was flexing. Uh, he did apologize, but then kind of backpedaled on the apology. And then the next day, what happens is uh, Dark Side Phil decides uh, he wants to stream, right? As he does every day. And then we got this to drop out of nowhere. And for a big drama tweet, it only got 45 likes, which is kind of kind of whack. Uh, but anyways, all I am currently under attack with false copyright strikes on DSP gaming. Please give me a bit to figure this out as I have to see what just happened. Thanks. Then we got another tweet, assessing the damage. I don't even know if I can stream or upload. Thanks. I thought he would have a backup plan, by the way. This whole time, this man? I wonder how this man turned out to be not very reliable, huh? Uh, this man was telling you he has a backup plan. He has a no backup plan. Then he put on this stream that is now private because of course it is. Uh, but we're going to watch it. Don't worry about it. Uh, where the whole pre-stream was just basically him begging the trolls, the Wings trolls in particular, uh, to leave him alone. So yeah, as you can see in this tweet, I'm going to attempt to go live, and today's discussion is going to be about this nonsense. So let's see this nonsense. Let's come here and do a DSP gaming, as some call it, and garbage, as others call it. Now, before we begin with this whole thing, I would like to say that I think nothing will happen to his channel. He's going to clear up the strikes because they are uh, not valid. And he's going to get everything back and running, except some videos that he already deleted that we're going to get to eventually. Unless I forget because I'm stupid. Now, this is a uh, great marathon, some nonsense. Oh, yeah, okay. About the Saints Row reboot. We don't care. We want the next one. The next one. Awful news. False copyright strikes have hit DSP Gaming. He makes it seem like, like a fucking ballistic missile uh, was launched against a fucking country or something. Awful news. 
false copyright strikes have hit DSP gaming. Let's get into it. All right, everyone. Well, all right, everyone. And we start with the with the tortured YouTuber a mode, which is you got to give a deep sigh. You got to be be sad. But look at him. This is the default facial expression. Does this man look sad? But when he double clicks, all right, all right one. Oh my God! What am I gonna do? Hey everyone, well, hello. Well, hello. Welcome to the Level One Podcast, a podcast without hoopla, a podcast without celebration, a podcast that I'm pretty upset that I have to put out one like this today because I was obviously not planning on doing anything like this today. Um, this is not good. All right, just to preface this podcast, uh, sadly, this is the first time in years that I have had to deal. With this kind of nonsense uh, I'm not happy about it whatsoever I'm incredibly upset actually I have to talk with you guys matter of factly about what's going on right now with DSP gaming um, because there is a lot of bad things going on risk right now uh, I, I kid you not and I exaggerate to no capacity here right now I'm live streaming this on DSP gaming and at any moment the stream can go down okay uh, I don't even know if I'll be able to upload this. So if you're watching this live, enjoy. If you're watching this on demand, uh, congrats, I guess. I guess we got through it, all right? Uh, at least for the, for the short term. Well, congrats, he got through it. He knew this whole time, by the way. Let me make this clear. He knows that you can clear these strikes up. He knows that he has some sort of a relationship with YouTube. He knows that trolls have been taken down erroneously. And have been got back up. He knows all of this. But he's gonna make you paranoid. He's gonna make you nervous about his own fucking channel. Because you need to keep watching and you need to give him fucking money. But he knows all that shit is gonna be okay in the end. It's just a, a, a drama that he cannot not capitalize on. He must capitalize on this. And he knows it. And this is why this stream is 2 hours 10 minutes fucking long. This podcast. Basically, uh, you know, I've been a content creator for 14 years. And over the years, I've dealt with a lot of bullshit, as you know. Um, and sadly, today, I'm dealing with more of it. The good news is because I've been down this road before, I'm not going panic mode. Thank God. Because, you know, previously, I have gone panic mode and kind of lost my shit and got all overstressed. I'm going to try not to do that, being that, you know, you know, kind of been there, done that. You know, I've been through this, but... Sadly, the thing is, with the way that YouTube works, things change over the years. Things are constantly in flux um, in regards to how to handle malicious activities uh, against YouTube channels. So I'm doing my best not to handle it in a very calm manner, uh, but, you know, I'll do my absolute best to not go off the cuff today. There's not much I can really do if I do. You know, it's emotions. It's only natural that humans who have put their heart, soul and insane amounts of dedication and hard no, work. No, no, no. You have no soul. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a hater. Business. There is no soul put into his content. There hasn't been since maybe 2009. For, you know, some 11 years and has done this for a hobby for 14, would be a little upset <clears throat> if... Uh... And you would also know what to do. If you're that person that you described, that you've put soul in blood, sweat, and tears, you would know what to do if something like that hit you. You would just know. And not sit there for two hours, ten minutes, and tell everybody that you have no idea what your backup plan is going to be. But you're not going to go away. Except when you said that if they take down this stream and the channel is gone, there's, he's going to go away. That's what they fucking said. What People he said. are trying to directly uh, hurt them, right? Like, imagine if you had something that you really worked hard on for 14 years of your life. And just because someone can mess with you, they will, right? Like, and the thing is, I've been, again, through this before. And usually we've had a way to fix it. I hope that that's going to be the situation again today. Um... But I don't know, because I actually have no idea what's happening right now. And of course, we don't know what's happening. We don't know how to prevent it. We're just going to sit and ask for support. Every kind of support. Please, please, please. It's everybody's fault. Nobody knows how to fix it. Nobody knows what's happening. Beg, beg, beg.
behind the scenes with you two. I gotta explain all of this to you, obviously. What okay? are you gonna explain? Not knowing anything? Not having any plan? So normally the podcast would be all about, oh, let's talk about the schedule for this week and what I'm gonna be doing gameplay wise and what else is coming up and everything. Today I was supposed to talk about Gamescom, which I, co I covered yesterday. Covered, by the way. I did a live react to it here on DSP Gaming. Covered. I, I hate it when he, he says it like I that. to enjoy it. Because when I say I'm going to cover a fucking DSP drama, I don't mean I'm like Keemstar. He means when he covers something, it's like a media outlet covering something. Oh, did you guys like my coverage? It, although like DSP, nobody takes you this seriously, including yourself. It wasn't super popular or whatever. Uh, you know, you guys liked that I, I talked about the, you know, the new game event that happened and everything. Um, you know, so it is what it is. I had fun with it, but I was supposed to talk about kind of the fallout of that today. What games were announced. The well, instead, we got to talk about this and fallout. I just can't do that. I have to talk about more serious matters here about my business, um, which sucks. I want to talk about games. I want to talk about fun, and I can't do that now. I want to talk about fun. <laughs> Uh, you guys, I want to talk about fun. Of people who think what is fun? Uh, balloons, uh, bicycles. They can just break video the games. The law whenever they want, um, which is not the case. But hey, we're talking about internet, breaking the law. Get away with it more often than not. So, what about you breaking the law? How much fucking taxes do you report? Okay, what what is a tax expense for Mr. Burnell? What about when that law is broken? Nobody cares. <laughs> First of all, I want to say in advance, thank you to the moderators who are already here helping. I know for a fact this stream's probably oh, going to have setting, view. You'll see. He's going to set everybody up as a victim. Him, Jasper, Cat, his business, everybody, before he even gets to what he's going to talk about. Um, as I go through what's going on and, and you know my plans and everything, um, and I appreciate that. I would ask if you are someone who's watching this live, Please be understanding and considerate of the fact that I'm pretty upset right now. Um, I'm going to try to do my best to remain calm and not lose my mind. Um, <laughs> what does losing his mind look like? I want to see him lose his mind. Was was the old emergency videos losing his mind? I don't know what him losing his mind would look like. I'm, I'm, I'm all up for that. And also fun, 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 fun. Way more fun. It's way more fun. Big up so Omega Kirk for Please Super understand. Chat. We're going to talk about fun, guys. And that I would love to have just done a normal show today on time. I would have loved to do gameplay with you guys on time. I can't because of what's going on. <clears throat> okay? So we're going to talk about that because now some people are asking, well, what's going to happen with gameplay? What actually happened? We're going to do all, we're going to talk about that right now. Okay? Some people are all asking right. DSP. So <clears throat> DSP. DSP. You are DSP. You are known for the fact that when drama happens, you stop everything. You drop everything and you talk about drama. Even if it takes you five hours before your regular gameplay, you're going to find some fucking greasy excuse. Everybody knows this. Stop bullshitting and making up people that, that fucking don't know about this. But maybe they didn't know. In this case, you don't even need to fucking explain. Everyone knows that you're talking about drama. Allow me to get started. Because you hyped it up in your fucking title. And you hyped it up on Twitter. So yeah, we don't really care about gaming stuff. Sorry to disappoint, Phil. Right? So as you guys know, on DSP Gaming, I don't infringe anyone's copyright. Everything I do here is considered fair use, right? You know that. And hey, big ups, uh, crispy mantis on YouTube. Cut. I stay within my my you know my road. Maybe back in the day, you could argue ten years ago, a lot of the stuff I did was risque. Even back then, I didn't violate. YouTube's community guidelines. You did, by the way. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. you did. Uh, and meanwhile, before he got hit with the copyright strikes, he didn't mention it here, but he got hit with community guideline strikes. We can see this in a King Jad video, I think, later on. Not, not right now, because we're in the middle of this. But when he got hit with the community guideline strikes was over some transphobic stuff and having a tranny... It be in the description and the title of his videos. So this made YouTube ra age restrict his videos. After which, uh, he made a kind of a podcast, I guess, kind of addressing it. But he kind of ignored the reason why he got restricted. He said it was some bullshit. 
um over time things change and now people tend so, yeah to have difference of opinion on what's allowed and what's not okay you see this is a setup for that he's setting you up for that internet and i totally understand that okay but luckily in regards to youtube you're not going to get punished for something you did long in the past that today could be considered maybe not so kosher or acceptable you see he's talking saying? about that right now uh, except he's actually not telling you he's talking about it he's just setting you up so if you didn't know that he got the community guideline strikes this wouldn't make any impression on you um that's definitely a good thing because man you know you guys have seen me in my past and the things that i've said and done take a look at me reacting to things like my down the rabbit hole video recently and, and cringing at my past and the stuff i used to do and I've made a concerted effort in the last five plus years to do better. <clears throat> okay, I have. Um, sadly, changing myself in the last five years has really not helped in regards to the crazy mob of people on the internet that hate me. In fact, it's almost like because I don't regularly do those wrong things anymore, their ire against me is even worse. Don't ask me how that makes any logical sense. It doesn't because you literally just made it up. That's I don't know why you're confused by your own argument. Nobody has told you this before. Anything along the lines of Phil, we don't like you because you don't do the edgy stuff anymore. People call you out for a thousand different reasons every fucking day, but you don't care enough to listen. So you make your own fucking reasons and then you're fucking confused. How is this called delusion? I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. You made it up. But then again, you know, people like you and me who are People logical. literally, like me, sit here and watch his videos and answer his points. And he would rather make up a fucking point by himself and argue against it and find out that this made up point that is not supposed to make any sense doesn't make sense. Well, humans don't think the same way as these crazy people who spend all their time on the internet trying to bring down others, right? So... They're not regular, but I still do M. Zany face. Pig nose. Zany Easy. face. <laughs> Big up, so mega curse. Guard, you know, I don't know what else you can do to appease a certain group. And so rather than try to do that, I just ignore them. And you guys know that over the last five yeah, plus in years... Yeah, instead of addressing their criticism, I'm going to invent criticism that they make towards me. And then I will say it's crazy and they're stupid and therefore i will justify this with not talking to them ever again that makes sense dsp is that i've changed myself <laughs> i've changed the style of content that i put out on the internet wow. <clears throat> i became a full-time streamer i became a lot more pc in the kind of content that i put out admittedly i'm not risque like i used to be uh, but isn't this a bad thing because i know phil for the no filter uh average gamer guy and the average gamer guy isn't PC that is just like, oh, yeah, I've changed myself uh, on Susan. I, I trimmed my balls real good. And now I don't say any naughty words anymore. Is this OK with you? Is this the average gamer? I have more meaningful streams and conversations with my audience now than I feel like I ever did in any of the content before I did that big change um, in the last year. OK, I became a full time content creator here on YouTube again, all right? For the first time in many, many years, I came back to YouTube and it's been a rough ride because I had a lot of following and a lot of support on Twitch that I lost. That I was fake, DSP. Okay. It was inflated support, just like you do now. Like they said on the, that being said, on the call-in show yesterday, this dude expects to have more members than actual active view, view base. Because his fucking channel makes like 700 views per video. I guess on average, minus the drama, because this, of course, this has 3K and is the drama. And it, it's kind of sad because this would usually have been like 30,000 views back in the day or 50,000. But now this is like so few people give a fuck about him, I guess, outside of the trolls that this is all he can do with the drama that is threatening the life of his channel. If he gets one more strike, he's getting taken down. Okay. I love my life and only segment. 3,000 views. Yeah, this is pretty much I, I love my life segment. And I, I love who I am because I changed. But people don't believe me I changed, so I make arguments against them that don't exist. And again, 
you look at the situation, you're like, okay, so what has really happened in the last year in regards to DSP gaming as a whole? Well, the channel's grown. I've added a lot more content that people have wanted. I've listened directly to feedback and changed f for what my viewers tell me for the better. Um, you know, I've, I've pretty much tried to do everything right. And of course, I'm a flawed human and I make mistakes all the time. I lose my temper. I lose my cool, you know, say things that are stupid or whatever. But for the most part, if you watch my content, it's pretty relaxed. It's pretty chill and fun and interactive. Oh, with yeah. Audience. It's super chill. Um, super fun. If anything, <laughs> the one thing. This is the only guy that I know that has like, I think he's going to talk about it now. The begging. That people seem to still have issue with yeah, is the, the fact one that thing. I ask for support. No, right? DSP. I'm There's plenty of things. You're greedy. You're selfish. You're narcissistic. You have a massive ego for what you do, which is garbage. You are entitled uh, with all your fucking goals and entitled of people supporting your life. There's so many other things that go as far as to who you are as a person, not just your stupid fucking content and the shitty gameplay videos that you do. Just the core of what he represents as a member of society and a person. On my streams. Not because he fucking begs. Begging is something that people use as an argument against him to show how much he's willing to degrade himself for fucking... So he doesn't get a job. And so he doesn't have to put in effort. That's, that's why people bring up begging. It's like, you would rather beg like this to put on hats on, to put on glasses on, to put on fucking fishing lures on your hat. You would rather do that than be a functional member of society and contribute something to this world. You would rather do that. And this is why people bring up the fucking begging. Because there is tons of streams, all of the streams, or at least like 90%, that support themselves through the fans and through the fan base and the viewer base. And they can ask for support. To let people know that this is how you support the channel. But there's nobody that fucking manipulates as much as DSP. That uses the shitty fucking guilt tripping and like childish tactics to manipulate people. And when those people come out and we see what kind of people they are. They're just like some disabled fucking people that are easy to manipulate that he took advantage of on the internet. Come on man. Come on. And then when he's faced with the fucking facts. In videos, when he records himself, contradicts himself, contradicting himself, he dis, like, dismisses any kind of uh, evidence like that. Fucking ridiculous, man. Especially with the champion stuff, because the champion stuff, people will go on uh, for a long time. Because it just makes sense. Because it's all this begging for bills and for fucking contributions and his wife needs to be fed and Jasper needs to be happy and then... It, it comes out exact evidence, like piles in mountains of evidence against him. And all he can say is words. That's all he can do. That's his best defense. And his livelihood is on the line against people who risk nothing, like people like fucking trolls on the internet shitting on him. His livelihood is on the line. And this is as far as he's going to go to defend himself, is to just say things are bullshit. And the trolls are fucking wrong. And I do that because I need support. Uh, you know, I used to be in a financial situation years and years ago that was much better. Now I'm in a financial situation that's not so great. And that's for various different reasons of which we don't need to talk about specifically. But the problem is there are weeks where I, I go paycheck to paycheck, meaning if I don't make that's a your good choice on certain streams. That's your whatever, choice. And I, I really, really mean it. No matter what kind of a person like this guy is, he can do something to improve himself. And it, it doesn't have to be getting a job. He can do anything, anything with any skills that he has. Or at least he can prove to us that he tried and he failed. But he would rather just dismiss everything instead of trying anything. And what he's willing to do is he's going to go through his closet to find a bunch of garbage that he can use to convince you to give him more money. That's what he can do because it involves sitting on his ass and recording himself doing stupid stuff. Whatever, I can't even pay my bills for the week. I can't and even pay my bills. That's your fucking fault. It's your fault it sucks. It's your fault you feel bad. It sucks. It's a terrible feeling. It's um, uh, your fault you have this terrible feeling. Um, 
As and result. what makes it worse is that he would rather blame everybody else than do anything about it. And that's how he's going to go until he's gone. Regardless uh, if it's going to be a copyright strike or an actual stroke, it doesn't matter. He's going to go until he's gone. And the people that he's going to take advantage of, the joke is on them. They're the actual joke. Because this guy, he doesn't even know how much of a fucking clown he is. Like, not anywhere near how much. Result of that, people on the internet have made a concerted effort, these who don't like me, by the way, to make up conspiracy theories and all kinds of fucked up things about me. Like what? And try to post them up on the internet as facts, despite like the fact what? that they're not facts. How are you going to disprove any of them? Right? They're I just figured. Very, very big, okay. corrupted, toxic twisting. We know he's talking about the champions because... This is the relevant one. Of a nugget of truth. It turns it's a toxic twistings to a nugget of truth. Then say what the nugget of truth is and how it's twisted. This is like if you're going to argue just with the verbal explanations, at least go in detail. Don't beat around the bush with these weasel statements and in these made up fucking expressions. Just tell me what exactly is the conspiracy? What is the truth? How is it twisted? And who is saying it concretely? This is, if, if this is the best you can do, then it's just far and beyond above what DSP could regularly do. To a giant conspiracy theory. And they've done that with many different things over giant the years. Giant conspiracy and theory. And now we're going to distract people from the actual thing, which is the strikes. And then the actual thing became the champions. And now he's going to talk about Recently, something obviously else. Obviously, they've doubled and tripled down on a few of their different conspiracy theories. A few of them. Uh, which ones? That are not true. Which but again, ones? for me to sit here and try to debunk them or whatever, there's no point. Because the moment that I no debunk point? one thing, ten more things come up. I'm not exaggerating. No, you are exaggerating. And you you don't even want to say what... He doesn't even want to say what he wants to debunk. It's just some things. In the last week... And this is how the fucking cult works, okay? Now, the people that are going to believe this statement... And they're just going to take it all as fact and just, like, question absolutely nothing. They're already done for. They're already gone. In five years, they're going to make a, a tweet for attention and be like, I spent a million fucking dollars on Phil, but I finally realized he's a piece of shit. And then the detractors that are there in, in 10 years, they're going to say, good job, man, but we've been telling you this for the last 25 years. And the other part of the people that don't believe this nonsense, or at least slightly kind of question it, they're going to be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Let me go and look it up. And then they're going to go and look it up. And likely they're going to see the, the secret limited video, or they're going to find their way onto Kiwi Farms, or whatever. And they're going to be convinced he's an asshole. So all the people that are left after monologues like this is the actual pay pigs. And the actual brainwashed people. And this how you keep a go good cult in check. We, just one of them I mentioned on my stream, and then immediately when I said, oh, well, this is really what happened, a troll came on the stream and said, well, what about this and this and this? So that's what they are. They move the goalposts. So they move the, the goalposts. And this is another thing that, that I wanted to point out. This man deluded himself so hard to believe the story he was making up about the trolls being a, a hive mind in a groupthink mentality. That he actually believes himself. And he's confused when trolls have different opinions. And when trolls can't agree with stuff. Because he's so hard wants to believe that they're a, a unified brain. That he convinced himself genuinely. Like this, you can't ever change their mind or attitude. Okay, you can't. You can't help this kind of nonsense. You, ju you just have to accept that it's going to exist. And you have to say, alright, well, don't acknowledge it. Push forward positively, put out positive content every day and hope for the best. Okay? And this is this is worthless because you don't represent that statement. You don't do that. You put out content un at least, uh, until the fucking tips go dries out and then you start to fucking beg. And begging takes precedence over any fucking content. And begging is not positive. So we already contradicted like three things you said about yourself. They're not true. And that's been my attitude. His attitude is to just hope. That's his entire attitude is to hope. To explicitly ask people for what they want on the internet, hope for the best, and then when it comes, just believe he is entitled to it because he convinced himself he's producing good content. 
in these comments that he gets from dick writers and dick suckers that tell him that his content is amazing and he has changed as a person just because he told them he has changed as a person and it's just this game of telephone that never ends and it only serves for him to get more delusional and more out of touch with reality for the last five plus years that i've really changed myself he said like 15 times within the first 10 minutes that he's changed himself from being that toxic individual to someone who i feel and then somebody's gonna send him five comments in an email about him being a changed man phil i love how much you changed man i love it and then phil's gonna be like yep i changed then he's gonna go on the podcast feel like you guys i changed then someone's gonna hear him and send him an email saying phil you changed man and then they're just gonna like say to themselves you changed back and forth and that's how he lives his life feels it's literally literally an echo chamber like literally putting out meaningful content And, and at least me. you can see with the trolls, at least you can see when anybody comes on, on that being said, we can disagree with them. And that's perfectly fine because we've had so many uh, things and theories that we don't agree on, especially on the one minute man thing. If you go back to that episode, we talked about it. Each one of us had a different theory on what was going on. So if you want to say the fucking trolls are a hive mind echo chamber, you, you need to fucking go listen to us having different people every week and talking about them in, in a objective, civil fucking way. Uh, and you can just go on Kiwi Farms. Probably you can't go now because it's down. But you can go there and see how much people disagree on them. And the only people that are supposed to constantly agree are people that like fucking Phil. They should constantly agree. There have been many and if you don't disagree, you can fuck off. You can go watch Rich. Opportunities over the years for me to, to put out that kind of toxic, negative content for personal gain. Just recently, you know, you had someone like Review Tech USA who is putting out multiple streams of videos in a negative light about me. I publicly make it known that I think that's messed up because he's watching conspiracy and taking it as fact. Uh, what if he was convinced, though? What if he was convinced? And that was his opinion that he is convinced about that. Okay? And he expressed his opinion. He did a reaction video. Like when fucking DSP did a reaction video on Wings and made a bunch of fucking assumptions about his friends. He made like 15 fucking assumptions. And his way to back it up was to say, you guys, this is just my opinion. And then publicly doing negative things and saying negative things about me. And I stay what if he believes those things? Just like you believe a lot of things about the trolls and you are saying them. But, but you don't back them up. No, I could easily do the same thing about him. I could do an entire stream Okay. like that. That is fair game. You could do it. And now he's going to say, I'm a better person. That's why I won't do it. All right, an entire stream and just have sky high views and make sky high profit. And I refuse to do it. Because I feel like I'm a better person and a better content creator than that. I was raised with morals and values saying this is not... I was raised with fucking values to always rely on other people for help and never try and figure it out himself first. No. Always turn to other people when something goes wrong. The kind of shit you do. All right. So I, I'm not going to do it. Um, I could be way more popular and make a lot more money doing that. And guess what? Then probably I wouldn't have to be asking you guys for support all the time on my streams. But I don't want to be the negative, toxic guy. I want to put out positive stuff. You understand? So that's why I don't go there. Um, but because I put out the positive stuff, right? I limit myself to a certain audience and I limit myself to... Yeah, this, some, this is a DSP cope. It's literally a, a DSP cope. Where he tries to flex being better than somebody while being in an objectively worse position as a person in general. Because Rich, uh, maybe he's in a worse life position than DSP. I can't see this through his videos. While when I look at DSP, it's alarming that something is wrong. Because you're seeing what I'm seeing right now on the screen. And with fucking Rich's channel, at least he's professional enough to not exhibit the fact that he is a lol cow so publicly. So we do a review tech... There we go. All right. 
This is the latest right. video. You see, there's a studio going on. There's lights. There's a microphone stand. It's something. So if I am just a random casual viewer, this guy is all right. Or and it's hard to make ends meet. And then I click on this dude's video, even though, yeah, it is a special copyright strike drama thing, but it's still like you're looking at this. It's like shit. It's blurry. Uh, maybe it's on low quality, though. Yeah. Let's see if this makes it better. No, this makes it the same. How is this fucking work? Me And I have to ask for support. Yes, I uh. only admit it. I ask for support on my streams. And it backfires when these trolls go after me in various different ways. Okay, so what does this have to do with anything? Well, okay, we, we had the initial setup. I'll right? tell you right now. Of him in the past being someone, because there's a couple of things that he would like to convey to you in the beginning. That is very important. First of all, in the past, he used to do risque stuff that is not accepted anymore. Remember this, this comes back later on with the community guideline strikes. The second thing is that he has changed guys and if you don't believe it just repeat it to yourself until you believe it all right so in all the right. last year to year and a half since i came to youtube full time <clears throat> all right basically uh i have been very lucky let's put it that way hello and renee how what's was up I lucky you might ask i've been able effectively to avoid it was very lucky any kind of attacks on my channel dsp gaming because as much as dsp gaming is my my youtube channel where i primarily do all of my content okay it's also the major majority of my business you also said and this is after the the evil aj saga during which he said that people try and copyright strike him all the time and it never works that's what he said people trying to hit me all the time man but it doesn't work you can even try yourself, Evil AJ. That wasn't the quote, of course. I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like that. He was twerking for a copyright strike. He was clapping those cheeks for a strike. Yes, I actually am a business owner in the state of Washington, USA. This is my business as well as my job. Now we set up all the reasons why he's a victim. This is that segment. It goes on for a few minutes. It's kind of boring, but uh, get a load of it. And when people take negative action against me essentially you're attacking a small business you're not just attacking an individual because you don't like them you're actually attacking uh a big amount of you know a, a small business that's registered and, and treated as such okay um so thank god i've been able to avoid issues all right in the last year year and a half but the thing is behind the scenes i always kind of expect or suspect that things might be going down and i'm like you know I haven't gotten any kind of strikes or any kind of issues or claims against the channel outside of content ID. The thing is with YouTube, <clears throat> what YouTube has tended to do over the years now, rather than say, grant a whole takedown strike or grant a big negative thing against your channel, they will just give you a content ID issue, which means, oh, maybe your video is blocked. Maybe your video is age restricted and therefore you can't get ads on it or whatever. But that's usually what YouTube tends to do. They usually don't go all the way anymore with a full-on strike or issues like that. All right, this is him talking about the transphobic stuff he just got hit with and had to turn to private. And I think maybe he deleted some of, some of them, but I'm not sure. But he definitely privated a couple of videos. Okay. He's talking about this. Okay. I don't know if he's going to admit it. I, I forgot, but it's, it's important to, uh, to remember it. So, I've been lucky, admittedly. I've been, I've been you know, full time here on DSP Gaming for almost a year and a half. Because I came with May, so May, June, July, all yeah, almost a year and a half. We're full time. This has been my job right here, DSP Gaming, and that's it. In fact, if you haven't noticed, I focused all my efforts on this channel. I even stopped using things like my old vlogging channel. I haven't gone back to KO Gaming. I've just focused right here on DSP Gaming and making this the source for my content. I think that's been a huge benefit we've seen overall viewership go up subscriptions really have climbed because uh, they're fucking fake dsp good amount in the last oh. year for the first time in oh you mean actual subs oh come on many many years people come are on. actually watching content yeah you're begging for it 
why are you surprised when it fucking happens? And I've said this a lot many times before. You explicitly ask for these things. Why are you surprised when they happen? And you flex with them. You ask for it. Other people just work for it. Okay, on DSP Gaming, again, is it a ridiculous amount? Oh my of people? god. No, but is it a good amount for my size of, as a Hey, big ups, I didn't see this with the, with the Chaos Realm tip. When the fuck did this happen? Oh, because there was no TTS for it. Let's play it again. My husband told me that it's a very repetitive for me, for him to ask for support, but guess what? It get it gets repetitive when his fans don't donate. Sound good? All right, sounds good to me. Big ups, uh, Chaos Realm 01 for the tip. And fucking stream elements added again with, with the zero pop-ups. Content creator, yes. What a fucking close-minded, idiotic fucking platform. Is it growing? Yes. So and I, I need some music for this. We need some white run. All these are positives, all right? But today I have to come to you with a negative. In fact, a story about a concerted effort against me and my business. And the truth of the matter is, I'm not exactly sure why. So allow me to explain. His whole point with the, I'm not I'm not sure why is that he isn't wings. That's his entire point. And I'm going to probably save you like 45 minutes worth of watching. If you leave the stream now, his whole point is why am I being trolled? I'm not wings. That's that's all. That's literally all everything that's been happening, all right? So you guys are well aware, all right? Well mm -hmm. aware that there's people out there that don't like me, all right? But those people have always kind of stood almost on like a high horse or a soapbox in regards to abusing YouTube systems. Like their their mentality has always kind of been, all right, we really don't like Phil, but we're not uh, gonna, damn you know, it abuse YouTube no systems, music, we're not it. gonna break the law, we're not gonna do messed up things in order to hurt Phil, we're gonna try to find legit ways, whether we just make videos about him, restream his content Fuck this. um, you know, and every once in a while when he does something wrong, call him out for it, and you know what, to some extent not to say that I certainly like or approve that, I obviously don't want people being nasty to me all the time and pulling, prying and trying to pry into my private matters, personal life that has nothing to do with my streams, making conspiracies up about me, but at least kind of when you're playing by the rules, it kind of keeps you on your toes, all right? Allow me to explain what I mean by that. So it's easy when you are someone who has popularity or someone who basically is being successful to kind of feel like you're above reproach or to feel like you are infallible, unpunishable, right? But when you're someone who gets called out for shit all the time, you try to actively make yourself better. Admit uh, no, no. No, I'm not even going to let him finish on this because it's a terrible point. Uh, he means that the trolls helped him change, which is not true. Uh, money made him change. And now he is sanitized as fuck because he wants to keep making money. He, throughout his entire YouTube life, he's been calling the trolls all kinds of stuff and always dismissing them at every point. At every point. Even when they were objectively right. And now him trying to say that the trolls helped him improve, it's some bullshit. No, he always improved because that would, not improved, he always changed. Because that would make him more money. When streaming became the thing, he changed to be a streamer who didn't acknowledge his viewing audience. Because he wanted to be a streamer and make streamer money, and then be a, also a YouTuber and make YouTuber money. Then he started acknowledging the acknowledging the audience because that made him more money because people felt more appreciated and then he was still a streamer and a youtuber that chain was because the youtube money wasn't making wasn't enough so through, throughout his whole history he's only changed just like with the reaction stuff it's changed because it's giving him more money literally in the past five years i've actively changed my content for the better for various different reasons, one of which being, money. hey, I know I have people watching me all over the internet constantly. You don't listen to them. You don't listen to them. We all know his opinion on the trolls. We all know what it is. We all know how low he sees them. And he's the type of person who can't take criticism from anybody, let alone people that he knows that he's above, that he believes and has convinced himself 
that he's above. And if I say or do something fucked up, they're going to call me out for it. They're going to report me to YouTube. They're going to try every possible thing under the sun to hurt me because I did something messed up. You see what I'm saying? So, to some extent, to have that many people on my ass every day has kind of made me be a better content creator, I feel. All right? But that's because they play by the rules. You understand? In the last few years, I've actually been contacted by some of my detractors asking me, hey, Phil, did you take down my video? Did you take down my stream? Did you take down my Twitter? Did you do this or that? To which I always respond truthfully, no. It has always been my mentality. By the way, this, this whole thing uh, up until now, from the very beginning, this is not him explaining his situation. This is him making his case against the trolls. This entire time, when he's been talking about him being a small business, him changing, him doing this and that, Im imagine he is talking to Wings trolls. Because later, when we actually get to the point, that's exactly what it is. This all is, is him addressing Wings trolls. He's not talking to his own audience. He's talking to the trolls, and this is his case. It's like we're in the courtroom. This is his case against them. And now he's leading up to him being a nice guy and playing by the rules. So let's, uh, let's get there. That I will absolutely positively not claim any content, even as negative as it could possibly be, because, man, there's been some messed up stuff said and done about me on YouTube over the years, some of which is absolutely completely false. But hey, if you didn't true. notice... I don't claim it. I don't take it down. I don't try to content ID match it. I don't try to copyright strike it. Well, then it would be a Streisand effect. You know how this works, DSP. You know. But there's one more thing that he's going to say that is very important. I just leave it as is. My mentality is, listen, <clears throat> people are going to say whatever. I'm not going to abuse YouTube system, all right? I'm going to just do my own positive content every day. And... I've even actively helped a couple people. I don't know if they've ever publicly talked about it. There's a couple of my detractors who I went out of my way to try to help them get copyright issues fixed. There was one guy and who hired a lawyer. Flex. This doesn't make you a nice person, DSP. Admitting to stuff like that and bragging about it, this doesn't make you a nice person. This is the same shit you did back in the day when you were in the FGC and you were running tournaments just so you can say you ran tournaments for the community. This is not you being a nice person. This is you being a fucking selfish asshole and bragging about stuff. That is supposed to be a selfless act. It is supposed to be a nice act, but not when you flex about it. And actually went to YouTube with his lawyer and had me write a big statement stating, listen, I did not do this. This is not yeah. me. Someone How is this you going out of your way, by the way? The dude had a lawyer and your name was on the fucking copyright strike. Because we know the dude you used your name. How was you that you going out of your fucking way? They could have sued your ass. And it's falsifying my information and trying to take down Come on. shit. You know, in my name, this is not right. Okay? So, as much as I know detractor content is bad and hurts my business and even myself personally. No, I it helps his business immensely because detractor content is infinitely better than his. Uh, production wise and entertainment wise so it helps him if it was terrible if it was a bunch of just like shitty videos and just like shitty stuff then it would probably be even neutral but yeah it would more hurt him because it would attract more trolls but the the troll stuff is fun and adds more productive value i guess i refuse to participate in any I kind refuse. of illegal activities or, or... Illegal activities, by the way. There we go. He, he admitted, it's not him being a nice guy. It's just illegal. It's just a false copyright strike that if somebody sues you over, it's not going to hold up. So no, it's not him being a nice fucking guy in this whole thing that was just circle jerking himself, basically. It's because it's illegal. You know, abuse of the DMCA takedown system or abuse of the fucking system. Like there we go. Yeah, because I feel like I'm better than that, and I feel like no, because you know that if you take down one raw clip, the most raw clip of DSP that exists, let's say it's some re-upload. If he takes it down, that guy will re-upload it with a filter on it, 
that is going to make it bypass YouTube's terms of service on copyright. So that will not get taken down because it counts as transformative work. So basically, you will only make people smarter and able to bypass the system. So yeah. If, I, if I'm going to be successful... You're not going to do it anyways. You're not going to be successful. You're be not successful. successful. On my own. No. Not by shutting down every other No, person. you can't even dream of being successful. Come on, be fucking realistic. You're successful and you're telling me you're living fucking paycheck to paycheck? And you get a daily paycheck? Success is not something you should be fucking aiming for. Survival is. You said something about me, but by people actually just genuinely liking the content I put out. You see what I'm saying? Um, well, you're asking for too much. You're asking for too much. That's a, that's a very DSP thing. But yeah, you're asking for... Sitting on your ass, doing the bare minimum, having no trolls, and having people that like you enough that they support any kind of lifestyle you believe you deserve. Yeah, I, I would say you're asking too much. Legal to try to claim someone who does stuff like that. Hey, what's up, King Bean? Big ups. It's considered a transformative work, all right? So I'm not doing that shit. I refuse. I refuse. Okay? No, it's, it's just you just admit it. It's illegal. It's not you refuse. You don't want to break the law. And I, that's always been my mentality. And when people always say, oh, Phil, you claim this, you claim that. No, I didn't. I don't do that. I swear. To, I swear. What about when people impersonate you to claim stuff? What about then? Then you just say you didn't do it and you do nothing against it. What about if people impersonate you to break into your bank account? Uh, what about that? Then what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to say it's a big crime and that person should be in prison? And you should spend $2,000 on Better it? Better chill, Phil. Pill. Snowflake. Yes. Uh, <laughs> big up, so big up, Kirk. Uh, better chill, Phil. ...to everything that I've ever stood for in my life to you right now. You stand for nothing. You stand for yourself. That's what you stand I for. Do not you stand for Phil. Ah, take down videos. I do not take down streams. I don't do that. If any, any if it ever happens, someone else is doing it in my name. However, uh, this is a useful clip. You can clip this, and if you get taken down or whatever by somebody going by the name Phil Burnell, you can dispute it with this as evidence. Okay. So there you go. So why are we here today? Because I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. And I like answers, although I doubt I'm going to get any. We still haven't got to the point, by the way. Why are we here today after 20 minutes of him being a victim and him talking to wing strolls about why are you doing this? All right. So because it might seem to you, and that's how it was to me when I first started listening to it, that it's just a panic segment and he doesn't know what to say. I think it's very well constructed for him to get all of his points across to his completely moronic audience. And he managed to do it. Because he's uh, really talented at, at bullshit. So, as you guys know, over the last week, there's been a hell of a lot of controversy for dumb reasons here dumb on reasons. PSP Gaming. All right? Straight off the bat, he's supposed to explain to you from an objective standpoint what is happening to his channel. What does he start doing? What's the first thing he does? Is tells you that everything that's happening is bullshit. So you can't even have an actual uh, objective opinion about it. He's telling you what your opinion is before we've even started about it. All right. Um, so let's talk about what's going on. All right. In the last week, I was going to do my React Marathon to This Is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Solid 2. This is something that I had in, All the, right. in the works for a while. I talked about it months and months ago. Sure. Sorry, Evil AJ, you gave me public permission. Oh, he couldn't, he couldn't restrain himself. He had to go back to this. He had to. Because I think in this whole moment, he was feeling like very insecure. And he had to get a win from anything. Anything he had to interpret as a win. For his ego to even be able to continue. To react to the video, the crazy ago. shit, man. So it's covered under fair use, and you gave me public permission. I was in the clear yeah, to do it. Yeah, let's get over this. But apparently, a lot of people didn't like that. All right. So essentially, what happened over the weekend is that there was a concerted effort, concerted to effort. try to hurt DSP Gaming. All right. 
What was that concerted effort? I can tell you. A cacophony of false claims. And by the way, by the way, he's making this look like the evil AJ thing is why. It's like evil AJ was like, okay, I'm going to go and destroy Phil. While this was all about him being smug about it and, and asking for it. He was just sitting there for like two pre-streams in a row, being angry and calling people losers and fucking like no lives and whatever, all, all that shit and flexing on them and bragging about how he has a direct line to YouTube. This is, it, it's literally asking for it. What did you expect is going to happen? You have a dedicated base of trolls that are going to go after you, regardless of what the new guard is going to do, or the old guard, or whatever fucking guard, some dude is going to go after DSP because he thinks that's fun. Just how I'm streaming about him because I think that's fun. And that is going to happen. More, It's more likely to happen if DSP is smug about shit and he wants to make stuff happen. And he wants to instigate some bad shit happening to him. We're thrown against DSP gaming of all types. It wasn't just one focused effort. It was like... Let's just throw now. First of all, uh, okay. So much let's, shit let's at walk. the wall. What was and the let's shit? Let's see what will stick. What was it? Okay. Well, out of all the shit being thrown at the wall, nothing stuck. What I can tell you is they tried everything. He wanted. <sighs> this is one of those things that he says, that is just so he can get to flex and just so he can be smug about it. But I mean, he's wrong, because there's two things that stuck. It's the copyright strikes, and it's the community guideline violations. That's the two things that stuck. But he wanted to flex and literally lied. All right. Um, in regards to, like, community stuff, okay. they went back. Listen yes. to this. And tried to flag videos of mine from six to ten years ago. As if it was content I just put out today. All right. Now we're going to take a trip. Uh, to King Jad, I think he had a video like that. And we're going to explore all the stuff that happened. I'm, I'll try. Because I may have another two hours, let's say. So let's go King Jad. And I think he had kind of a, a record of, of what got deleted. Right? Copyright claims against old podcast intro. We're going to get to this. But these are the ones we need. This is a, a great channel. You should go and and do it because i know the dude uploads as soon as something happens and it got screenshots of stuff that i can use very fast so here we get uh this is the first thing that came out at the time uh this is from some dude on twitter calling himself ash and this is uh this video has been removed for violating youtube's terms of service and uh, the video is called Keeping the Creeps Happy. And by the creeps, I think he meant trans people. Uh, all right. Now, let's just see what uh, is in the video, okay? Hey, guys. King Jad here. Welcome to a wee video here developed uh, in the last few hours here. Um, a user on Twitter called Jack Creek uh, has posted it. Uh, all so right. Let's see which videos it was. YouTube actually take action on Phil's kind of inflammatory speech before he's been very transphobic in the past he's been very racist in the past whole thing but if you know you know people just don't give a fuck about youtube anymore if you want to watch uh, uh, you know someone enjoy a game and have fun and be entertaining you watch them on twitch you don't watch them on youtube anymore right youtube is more about drama and bullshit i want to watch it i'm not going to play the rest of it because he's going to say something very nasty i don't want to get myself into trouble either but you know what's coming if you know DSP lore, you know what's coming. So YouTube's policy on this happening, if your content violates this policy, we will remove the content and send you an email to let you know. If it's the first time you violated our community guidelines, you'll probably get a warning with no penalty to your channel. Uh, spoiler alert, this is not the first time Phil has run full of YouTube's uh, community guidelines. He's gone to trouble for it a couple of times in the past. So yeah, and because of that, if it's not the first time, we may issue a strike against your channel. If you get three strikes within 90 days, your channel will be terminated. You can learn more about our strike system here. We may terminate your channel or account for repeated violations of the community guidelines or terms of service. We may also terminate your channel or account after a single case of severe abuse or when the channel is dedicated to... 
All right, so basically what came out of this was uh, DSP going back in time and changing some titles of videos. As you can see, there's uh, quite a few offenses. So this, him being struck for this, I would say it's pretty appropriate. Uh, now, the clips are breaking YouTube's terms of service. Yeah, they were maybe allowed back then. They are not allowed right now. So if he got hit with something for that, then it would be pretty fair. Now, we're not going to get into the copyright strikes until I think somewhere down the line in this video because it gets quite chaotic at times. I think it's one hour in when he actually starts to talk about the actual issue. Stating, oh, I don't like the way he said this. I don't think that this is allowed you see? or whatever, you know, this and that. Okay, this and that. This is how he framed these guideline strikes which you could see there there was just some transphobic shit i don't like the way he said this or the way he said that this is for him objectively telling people what happened to him is is selling them this bullshit story okay now i have to stick up for youtube in this regard when it comes to their community guidelines youtube is quite intelligent and if they make a mistake they will usually reverse their mistake immediately okay so in regards to community guidelines, anyone trying to say, oh, Phil did this and that on DSP Gaming and it's a violation of this guideline or that guideline or whatever, YouTube is generally very, very good about handling it well. So to give you some perspective, all right, let's say there's a video of mine from eight years ago where I said a bad, naughty word that if you said it today, you'd be in hot water, you'd be in trouble. Oh my God. This content creator said Wow, this what a what an ob objective setup for a story. His setup to this hypothetical story sounds very realistic. Publicly, right? And then you'd be in trouble. Well, if I said eight years ago, chances are it wasn't a big deal back then, but it has definitely things have changed. Look at how cultures changed in the last decade. There's now things you, you can't say today that you were able to say in the past and stuff like that. Um So it is what it is, right? But what I can tell you is, what YouTube will do, all right, they will look at, at videos like that and say, okay, we're not going to destroy you and your channel and your business, but we're going to, like, age-restrict your video so someone has to be an adult in order to watch it if you're using that kind of language. Um, sometimes they'll actually contact you directly about it to say, what was your intention with this video? Sometimes they'll just flag the video. It all depends. It depends on the situation, okay? But what I can tell you is, over the course of this last weekend, all right, there was a very concentrated effort to try to get <laughs> DSP Gaming into trouble. You see, he made it all seem like some bullshit, some fake bullshit. And it's stuff that's actually not allowed on YouTube, no matter whether he wants to accept it or not. That's a different story. Because he can't even be objective enough to look at things without any bias. He's like always instantly biased about stuff which is also known as being deluded. Makes no sense. How are you going to hold me accountable for something eight years ago that I said in a video that obviously I haven't said in the last five years since I... The video is still on. The video is there. It doesn't matter if you've said it in the last five years because those are different videos and that video is there and it's not allowed anymore. Changes as a content creator. And if it's still there, well, that's because nobody had a problem with it and it reported it because that's how it works. Because if they start doing everything automatically, it's going to destroy everything. I would never say today, because I've acknowledged that to say something like that in content today would be wrong. I've apologized for it over the years for being like that back in the past. You know what I mean? That's like trying, it's, it's cancel culture. Can we cancel someone who's been a content creator for 14 years for something that they said a, a long time ago? Uh, with with DSP and cancel culture is is very different because he's not big enough. He's not important enough to be actually canceled. He's always been canceled. He's like a, a fucking TV show that runs at like 4 a.m. that nobody watches. It's just people that that fall asleep with the TV on compared to everybody else. You can't be canceled DSP because you're not even like on. You're not even running to be canceled. The whole He's in like purgatory. He's literally in a purgatory for streamers. Where one week, if you don't stream one week, you're going to be ruined. Because you're going to miss out on a shit ton of revenue. And 
if you get in a situation like this, you're fucked. So you're you're neither doing great, especially for him, because he has a million dollar in debts. Uh, not exactly, but you know what I mean. And he can't go without streaming at all, both for attention reasons and for reasons of money. So yeah, we're we are here. Hilarious part about it is these kind of people who are doing this against DSP Gaming are the people who are the most vocally against cancel culture. They they outright hate it unless they can employ it for their own purposes. Oh wait, I can actually use this really fucked up. And and DSP loves to talk about things like cancel culture because it's it's a pretty abstract concept. Now the concept itself itself I think people can agree with. Hey, let's uh, quote unquote cancel people that have done things that are bad in society that thinks that these things are bad. All right. But every case is completely different, just like it is in, in the court of law. So do we cancel him the same way that we cancel Harvey Weinstein? Of course not, because he's a completely different case. But let's throw around the, world can the word cancel culture because it implies a very extreme effect thing to do something that i want then i'll use it but god forbid you apply it to it's like we don't think about it. how long are we gonna cancel him for when is he allowed to be back like kind of with like with the edp because they canceled edp and then they're like well he's back on youtube again but i guess we deplatformed him but for how long i don't know is it a an offense that he should lose his is everything for is it not because it's like you can't agree with uh, on anything because it's like an abstract fucking concept to me or anyone else that i like but let's apply it to everyone we don't like right it's pretty messed up right so that being said and he just they, put words in a bunch of people's mouths for no reason they tried and <laughs> they he gave them a narrative failed. Okay, they, tried they tried and they failed no it worked it literally worked they got you to change your titles be terrified and uh, face some kind of a restriction so they got him to do something and be scared which is exactly what they tried to do i guess they were trying to take him down but they did the next best thing very tough over the weekend to try to prevent me from being able to stream my reaction uh to this is how you don't play hey big ups uh michael krenakowski for a seven month um, membership dude big ups. and also there's All right, let's just leave it at that for now. All right, they tried and- Oh, he didn't want to tell you what. Let's see what that was. Play. Okay. Um, okay, they tried they failed. very what tough was, over the weekend- What was it? To try to prevent me from being able to stream my reaction uh, to this is how you don't play. Um, and also, there's- All right, let's just leave it at that for now. All right, they tried and failed over the weekend. Oh. So, the thing is, I know this is not the end of it. I know there's more coming. The question is, to what extent is it going to go? All right. And in regards to that, um, you know, how much is YouTube willing to entertain? Because it's kind of a YouTube side thing, as well as, a, you know, how, how far are trolls, detractors, whatever you want to call them, willing to go? <laughs> Didn't you have a direct line to YouTube and a backup plan? Was that all a bluff or it was just a lie? Huh? All right. <laughs> but no, he he needs you to be ter terrified because people give them the most money when they're scared. So when they're scared for him and you know that he knows he's going to fix everything. He knows YouTube know that DSP is a piece of shit that a bunch of people report on a daily basis. Do you think his regular stream doesn't get reported at least 10 times? Just casually, by people that just made it a habit to report his stream. Like, all his shit gets reported all the time. He knows he's gonna be okay in the end. But it needs to be a big paranoia segment. For others' sake. Why are we talking about this today? Because you want the drama. Well, in the last few days, and I don't pay any attention to this shit. I don't pay any attention to this shit, but I'm gonna give it a lot of attention. I literally don't. In fact, just so you guys know, because you probably don't know this, my Twitter... Is set up in a way that no one can respond to my tweets unless I follow them or I kind of approve it. All right. Um, I only see certain trends and things um, that are more public. Like, for example, there's ridiculous amounts of idiots who try to 
say really fucked up things about myself, my family. Every time I tweet somewhere, they try to like respond and be nasty. I have it set up so I can't see that shit. You know, imagine if every time you tried to use a business, there was just fecal matter all over the wall. Well, I if I if I was gonna use a business, let's say go in a supermarket or a convenience store, and there was shit all over it. I, first thing I would ask is why is there shit all over it, and then I would probably ask the cashier, and if he said there's shit all over it because there's some fucking idiot morons throwing shit on it, I would start questioning the quality of the business, because you know, not all businesses have shit thrown on them, and the ones that do kind of have it for a reason. Like when we shit on like EA Sports or something for releasing a FIFA that is broken every year. Yeah, we're not just trolling for the sake of it. Well, I need to get through the fecal like matter the, to get to the... It, there's this misconception that some people just get trolled. And that's it. They can't escape it. Like this, this guy, he, he presents himself as a perfectly normal, well-adjusted guy. He can't even understand why he's being trolled. Like, come on. Give me a fucking break. The useful stuff behind it, I don't want to sift through the fecal matter. It's a waste of fecal my time. Fecal matter. So I have my Twitter set up so I don't see that. So <laughs> I have no... That's bullshit, by the way. He can see everything. He sees all the quote retweets. He sees... Now, he probably turned off some notifications, but that's just like living in a, in a jail cell on Twitter. You just make a fucking sock account. What the fuck? When you have this, like, paranoia Twitter where you can't share anything with anybody... And then you're pissed that you don't get a lot of likes because you close yourself off from everybody. No idea who's following me. I have no idea about anything. No idea what they're saying towards me. I kind of stay in a lane where I can use Twitter for business purposes. And that's about oh, yeah, it. business purposes. Let's see business purposes. What is happening here? I've just gone live with a very important stream. So this is when was this? This 24th. Oh, yeah, this was a uh, I'm still back in time. I'm currently under attack. Okay, these are cool. But yeah, I can say business purposes. We're, we're shitposting the terrible schedule in audio form first. Is there going to be any begging? Oops. Well, everyone, today certainly wow, didn't go. Wow, wow, wow. This it blasted did, through my brain. Streaming day. So let's talk about. Releases, even though we're not playing the new same intro because it sucks we should have a good time with all the new stuff coming up so please have a good night see you tomorrow for a nice fun gamescom recap see <laughs> this fucking sucks so much this sucks who are you making this for the one guy that watches you who is blind like seriously <laughs> well everyone today certainly didn't go as originally expected but it still was a great streaming day so let's talk about what you can expect for the rest of my week on wednesday the 24th of august 2022 the level one oh podcast returns his voice is gonna be destroyed in in like two years he's gonna sound like he's been eating cigarettes for the last like 25 years because because all the the drinking and and talking every day for like 12 hours is gonna kill him that's going to be the death of him is too much talking. That's the only reason I want to use Twitter moving forward. I'm not trying to use Twitter to relay personal messages or whatever. All right. So <laughs> what about your DMs with wings and asking people for permission? I guess that's business reasons. This is the, the weirdest fucking guy, man. When people say things about me or throw things at me in regards to shit. Okay. Um, I actually don't know anything about it i'm the last person to know there's been people saying oh did you know that the guy super hound is tweeting at you and saying stuff nope nope i don't know about that <laughs> did you know he's impersonating you and taking people's channels down i'm not i don't see it and i don't, I don't see it. Know about it the less uh -huh. i know the better right? the less i know the right? better dude i just want to be here making positive content for you guys i don't want to know about this fucked up stuff that's happening on the Whoa, internet i don't know I don't anything why am I constantly involved in drama I know nothing about and I don't participate in? That's very fishy. Imagine somebody told you that. Hair, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Dude, they're constantly fucking talking about me, but I, I haven't talked to them in years. So I don't even want to be, huh? you know, kind of involved in this shit, okay? I'm not involved in this so again. There you go. Um, <laughs> so I get... Oh my god. When we get to the point where... 
Kim and Wings, the comparison comes up. It, it's amazing. It's the Actually, best again, part. Again, I can't. I'm not going to confirm, deny, or know anything about this. I guess what's happened. I'm not going to confirm, deny, or know anything about this. But I guess what happened is. Is if you guys haven't been following along with the news. Do you expect them to? Of the other content creators on the internet who are dramatic and have issues, because we all follow that so adamantly, right? I don't fucking care. I've even said on my streams, don't bring that shit up, I don't care. You're talking about it right now. I guess what happened is in the last month, Wings of Redemption got basically taken down everywhere, YouTube and Twitch. And from what Yo, I'm- this is like, holy shit. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. That's 100% possible. Maybe it's not that deep. But when he was mocking the other content creators that have issues, guess what happened is in the last he was really fucking smug about it. And then the very moment, this is the very moment, the very moment he started explaining a story that can relate to him. He can relate to being the platform, right? Because that's what's happening to him. He turned the drama mode on, The started looking at the camera more, started talking in this softer voice. It's 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 like a fucking wrestling promo, man. Month Wings of Redemption. Wings of Redemption. Basically taken down everywhere. Oh my god, man! He got taken down everywhere. What? YouTube and Twitch. What? YouTube and, and Twitch. What I'm to understand, and again, this is my very cursory glancing at the content because I don't <laughs> want anything to do with it. Oh, this is like my grandma pretending she doesn't like gossip, and when it. Anyone is gossiping around her and she's just like looking around and trying to figure out what's happening. This is her. This is my grandma. I guess what happened. But I, I don't care about like what happened to your cousin's son. But what happened? Is he hurt? Is he okay? Is he gonna die? What happened was. <laughs> but I don't care about him, man. Trolls took him to task because I guess what he's been doing or at least been saying he's doing is he threatens his trolls and says, I'll let you put up negative videos about me, but you have to pay me to do so. And if you don't, I'm going to basically abuse YouTube's DMCA system and hit you with a ton of false takedowns. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if he's actually done this or not. Uh, let's go find out. Um, okay, I, I guess here we should actually ask Chad. Uh, do you want to go and find out if Wings actually did this? Or you know that he did this? Or he didn't do this? Because we can go and watch the clip. Let's see... Um, Think, I don't know how it's going to be called. It's like wings, strikes, trolls, I guess. Let's let's look it up. YouTube is pretty good with that. Uh, wings archive. Five months ago. Oh, exposed. Oh, yeah. Leaked call about the trolls. Maybe it's this. What do you so we can get the, the whole story? Of course, DSP is infinitely quieter than this video. Oh, me, though. Because you're you're the person that everything points towards. Why? I can't get into logistics. I don't have all the uh, stuff in front of me right now. But, like, let's just say most things point towards you on the swatting. But see I wasn't the, even around it, back then. See the you are Road, a.k.a. Rallid. <laughs> Road and Rallid aren't the same person. Regardless, it's one of, it, it's one of these three people. Oh, there's no Road's got nothing to do with the community. Mm hmm I mean, like... You've did, you've did nothing but be dishonest and deceitful to me. Like, you're currently extorting me, so why would I believe anything you say? What's wrong with a bit of extortion? Dude. Like... <laughs> but you're working with Superhound to take us down, so... No, I'm not. Does it really matter? I don't know who the fuck Superhound is. That's Bruh. what he was saying. I mean, like... But what's wrong with a little bit of extortion? Again, don't know Superhound. I don't. I've heard the name before, but I've never worked with him in my life. Bro, this, you know what I try to do? I just want to show the, the Wings universe is just a a different fucking thing, man. Fucking Call of Duty to my little section of the world. So why are you so worried about giving me information? Because I don't snitch, Richard. You don't snitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so, not like X models or 007 that's just gonna fucking bend over backwards when there's a bit of pressure. Well, you should give me something. Who did the TikTok stuff? What, who, that was Sparky. Okay, well, what do you know about Sparky? Sparky admitted to us. Sparky went and fucking bragged about it. Yeah, all right, what do you know about him? What's his Discord handle and stuff? <laughs> okay, this is too stupid. Anyways, let's assume it happened. 
for the sake of the argument, for the sake of the frame of reference, let's assume it happened. But from the mess that's on the internet, you've got him saying one thing, you've got his trolls saying another thing, and I guess what his trolls are saying is, yeah, he's been abusing DMCA for, for like crazy. He's been false claiming our videos. He's right. been trying to shut down our accounts. And because, only because, he decided to go to those extents, we've decided to now break the law as well and hit him with a ton of false stuff to try to take him down. Uh, so, no, I think that's just a justification. That's just an excuse. Because it, it can be seen as an excuse because Winx goes and, and goes in their discords and talks to them which i give him credit for but that doesn't necessarily make things better for him and yeah those people they want to take him down anyways and that's an excuse but it's not like they need an excuse apparently they've hit him with false community strikes guidelines now they've hit him it's like with they were gonna do it anyways copyright takedowns they've hit him with everything but again i i don't even know how many people did this if it's a concerted effort or it was one guy just like with the winks uh, with with the dsp stuff you can't really know and again this is just me trying to get a big level understanding i don't know i didn't look into the nuances of it and what the nuances of it when when did he ever do that he just talks like he did <clears throat> from what i'm to understand <laughs> from what i'm to understand he had his streaming shut down hey what's up shinko how's YouTube it going man Twitch. he had his ability to upload shut down on youtube he worked with youtube and got stuff restored but essentially like he doesn't even know what to do because any video he puts up can be falsely struck or something again i don't even understand how that's possible or what the ins and outs of it are okay why are you talking about it because it's those people want to take you down now now here's what i don't understand <laughs> and maybe some people can explain yeah this to me. all right because i need to understand the situation and maybe understand why this is happening to me okay in regards to Wings of Redemption, is it not true that there's a ton of channels that make fun of him regularly? There's a ton of restreamers that restream him regularly. There's people who make profit off of his content and enjoy deriding the guy on a daily basis, much like me. Correct. Right? Correct. So wouldn't it make sense? I mean, I think all that's correct, right? Wouldn't it yes. make sense to leave the guy to be able to make content? This is what I kind of don't understand. Is I can understand that. You hey, big up like Steven for the, the membership. Guy, or you're trying to torture him to, to milk more content out of him. I certainly don't agree with that. I, I don't. It shouldn't happen. It's completely messed up, and I'm against that practice. Obviously. Wait, what? What are you against? Hold on, you're against milking him. Defense. To leave the guy to be able to make content. Okay. This is what I kind of don't understand. Is I can understand that. You want to like mess with the guy or you're trying to torture him to, to milk more content out of him so i can understand you want to mess with the guy for content i certainly don't agree with that i certainly don't agree with that i understand it okay i i get what you mean phil i, I don't it shouldn't happen it's completely messed up <laughs> i get it's that practice obviously but, but you want what you i don't it. understand is if they, if this is what they're do, this is their, this is their daily shtick. This is what they get off doing. This is what they get their jollies doing. Keep the guy going. Mess, mess with him. Right, right. Torture him. Laugh at his misfortunes, which is really fucked up. But that's <laughs> how they kind of get along doing their stuff. Right? Am I right? So what would be the purpose of shutting him down? This is what I kind of don't understand. Uh, because, Phil, they're not all the same person you fucking idiot because they're all different people and everybody has their own end game and in something that they want to get out of this some people want to fucking have a fun time and make fun of some asshole some people want to take him down and some people want to see dsp and wings like go away from the internet and some of those people take actions to achieve what they want so if the dude that wants DSP taken down from the internet, he's not going to care about the restreamers and the clips channels and the entertainment or whatever. He's just going to go and try and take him down because they're all different people. And the closest that they can get to, I guess, talking to each other is kind of Kiwi Farms, kind of, I guess. Or if they talk in, in like discords among each other, like the fucking wings people do. Or like some of the DSP trolls do. 
right? You so need it's it. it's just different people, and they're invested in this in a different level. So if somebody is really invested in it and is really pissed at fucking wings, they're gonna go in. If, and if they want to see him taken down, they're gonna go in and try and take down their channel. Him to keep making content and make a living doing it, so you can keep attacking the content. If you shut him down, you've essentially shut down your source of content. What are you gonna do? And the thing is, uh, you say, oh, they don't move on care to the about person. it. All right. Yeah, well, they don't care about it, and it's not about move on to the next person. It's number one, you're not that important. You're really not because you can just not watch DSP, and and that's it basically. It is not that important. If he goes away, he gets deplatformed. People would just not care, and that's it. And eventually, some new info is gonna come out about him, and he works at a fucking Walmart, and then people are gonna talk about it on Kiwi Farm, something like that. But you know, you can just watch something else. He's not that important. This entertainment is not something that uh, we need to all focus on supporting. But how many people can you do it to before no. effectively? It's everybody coming here for their own benefit and something that they want to get from this. And they try and get it. And if they're really invested and their benefit that they want to get is something bad happening to DSP, they're going to try and make it happen. And you can't stop them. You've done it all and it's you're, you're bored. You know what I'm saying? Like... You already have the gravy train rolling. Why would you shut off your source of gravy? Don't you like gravy? It's delicious, <laughs> right? So why I don't understand that. Like, why would you try well, to shut You're never going to understand that because you think you're talking to one person, which might be true if one person copyright struck him, but then that one person has a different agenda than everybody else it down that just it really confuses me now, of course it confuses you now if the situation here is that oh wings is actually trying to shut down all of his trolls from making that content further then i maybe could say okay maybe that makes sense if they feel that he's abusing the copyright takedown system right and that's why they're going after him in this method now like you're already shutting us down so we might as well shut you down too like tat tat what do they call it tit -a tat or whatever what you know then maybe that makes sense. Eye for an eye. <laughs> what do they call um, an eye for an eye? In some kind of a very basic way. I still don't think it makes logical sense when they want It doesn't that. have to make fucking sense, DSP. Someone just wants to have you taken down enough so they can go through all the effort of taking you fucking down. Welcome to the internet. It's not that fucking deep. It's not that fucking hard to understand. It really isn't. You have a troll, aka someone who doesn't like you. And they really don't like you. They don't like you way more than the other people that don't like you. That just make videos about you. Or shit talk you on Kiwi Farms. And they don't like you enough to go and fuck with your YouTube channel. That's it. Content to keep coming out. You know what I'm saying? Roll it's very really hard for me to try to understand the mentality of these, these people. Yeah, um, you'll ne you never will. You never will. I, I really try sometimes to put myself in their head. It's very difficult. For me to understand where they're coming from okay so again why am i bringing this up because apparently from what i'm to understand this is from people telling me not because i'm following or i know anything about it people are like well are you aware that because wings got shut down now apparently he's not i guess he's still streaming i don't know but are you aware that because wings got shut down or whatever that now his trolls are saying they're coming after you to which i would respond huh like wings trolls have issues with wings from all the things he said and done over the years they feel like he said and done really messed up things to some extent i guess they believe okay. that he's just lied like you about his use of money just like you that he frequently does messed up things just like you on the internet or whatever you know what i'm saying or whatever like <clears throat> this is this is so good because he's now basically accusing wings and he's bringing up stuff that wings has done and he wants to be buddy buddy with wings <laughs> you look at Such that a great fucking segment dsp you can't handle a situation this co complex get yourself out of it situations like apparently his trolls have a whole ongoing case against him right Whoa. that's what it is so what i don't understand is so you shut the guy down we're gonna move on to someone else now we're gonna move on to dsp what like, I don't get it. 
but you don't watch my content. You don't know anything, you know, you, you have no grudge against me. Certainly, I have no grudge with you. I don't even know who you are. DSP, you just explained how it works. You fucking maniac. You just explained. They take you down, then they just move on to the next lol cow. You just explained. And then you don't understand it. Why would you move on to the next? That doesn't even make sense to me. Because they took him down. Like, just from a logical standpoint, you want people on the internet to make the content you can make fun of. By shutting them down, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Oops, we shot ourselves in the foot. There's nothing to make fun of today. Let's move on to the next guy and shut him down. But where does any of this make sense? Because, oh my god, man. Man. Ugh. Oh. There's no sense behind that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who these people are. I really don't. I have no relationship to them. I've never spoken with them. I've never done anything negative towards them. To my knowledge, they don't do anything negative towards me. You know what I'm saying? And even though, even if they did, even if they decided, you know what, we're bored with wings. Let's make fun of Phil today. I wouldn't care. I don't shut down the people who do it now. I've never abused the MCA. <laughs> I've never abused any of YouTube systems. Why? Because you're a That's, nice guy? I'm staunchly against that because I've had it done to me in the past. And because it's so illegal. why would you say we're going to move on? Because it's illegal, Phil. From wings to Phil <laughs> when I'm not doing the things that apparently you didn't like wings for. I'm not, again, I think what happens is these people have... But this, yeah, they, they can hate you for all different reasons. DSP, like, I, how do I fucking unpack this? How do you even unpack this? He's been arguing like he's arguing against one person while he is talking to a whole community, let's say. The whole community of the Wings trolls. That some of them like watching videos. Others like personally messing with DSP. And those are completely two different subsets of people. And he expects all of them to be in a room and agree with each other. This weird mindset that we're all the same. I Do all of your fans like to put on diapers, DSP? What kind of a weird fucking person would a DSP fan be? Putting on diapers and following uh, fucking uh, porn stars on Twitter all day. What kind of a weird mentality is this, Phil? Is that all of your fans? Why would they all do that? Huh? I couldn't be further away as a content creator from Wings or LTG or any of these that other That doesn't people. matter. You are not that further away as a person. Not as a content creator. We're not here for the content, Phil. We're not here for the content you guys tend to crap on and have issue with if anything the one thing you could probably argue about in the modern day that you have issue with me about is that i ask for contributions from my my viewers right no. i do i mentioned it earlier like two hours ago and no one's gonna deny that why what we actually shit on him for i mean i need to be dumb as shit to say i don't do that and again phil it's on an individual level Anybody can make a video about you and say anything about you. And that's their own fucking gripe with you. That's their own thing that they don't like you for. Don't expect all of us to agree. Don't expect the wings trolls to all agree. Don't expect any of this. Of course I do. Uh, you know, but outside of that, I don't abuse the MCA. I'm not constantly going out there out of my way to talk about the negative shit. You, you, you do. You literally do. That's, that's just a fact. DSP goes out of his way to, make, to address negative stuff that create drama and hurt him. And intentionally, he makes those addresses as long as he can. Or at least longer than they should be. We're talking about Keemstar. We're talking about Review Tech USA. We're talking about fucking... Uh, when he had the rant on Evil AJ and all that stuff that happened this year, last year, bank leaks and all that stuff, everything that had to be addressed is much longer than it actually has to be. So, yeah, at this point, no, you're wrong about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of head-scratching to me. It's head-scratching. And the hilarious part about all this is I would like to show you guys something, okay? And this is not me trying to brag or anything. I need to show you something, Okay. Okay, I'm not sucking in my gut right now. Okay, I Everyone swear to God, I'm me. not. You see me, right? Okay, you notice something about me. All right, let me look at my body for a second. Huh? Huh? You notice huh? something? Huh? Huh? Right? Huh? Huh? 
I'm not Wings. Really? No, I'm not Wings of Redemption. I don't I'm know not Wings. Look, I'm not morbidly obese. You can tell? But you're gonna be if you keep feasting with the fucking king, man. I don't look like him. I don't sound like him. I don't <laughs> act like him. I don't put out the yeah, content you do. like him. I'm you're you're much worse. You're much worse. Because this dude, when I went and I watched his highlight videos, I slept the best I have in a long fucking time. What are the, the wings of redemption fucking highlights? Okay. When it says disaster stream, let's see this. Uh, no, actually, disaster. Let's see, because these are very entertaining. Uh, disaster stream saga. I think this one is edited. Yeah, it's a documentary. All right. Uh, I don't know. Something that's not. Maybe this one. This one was two oh, years man, ago. Earlier did said King Kill Limited this is it. This is the stream. <laughs> this is so entertaining. And then I changed the tab and I look at this madman flailing and talking shit about everybody and then saying he didn't say anything about them. It's incredible. He's much worse than Wings. Because Wings has like brief out outbursts with like doing dumb shit. And then years, not not years, okay, let's say months of streams like this. Oh, oh, try. When it's just him being bad and getting team killed and throwing his headset and then petting a cat. But now with Kelly, it's a little bit different. They have more of a dynamic. I wish Cat was was walking in the stream as he as, as this dude is flailing. I, I wish Cat would just walk in. Not his size or proportions. Not his size or proportions. Literally, people will come on streams and say <laughs> shit like Phil is fat and Phil is this and that. Make jokes as if I'm Wings of Redemption. Okay. Because you are, you're a lol cow, man. You get you get put in the same bracket. Just like you do to your to all your trolls. I am not wings. They're all shitheads. They're all morons. You guys are all lol cows. Redemption. I don't understand where you're coming from. In my mind, in my body, everywhere thing here on this channel. Does this look anything like you would find on Wings of Redemption's channel? <laughs> I can't believe this dude thinks this layout is is something that you should have. This is like the most baby layout ever. And then you see a dude who is dressed like a child with the, the shirt that is too small and the like little man boobs. Not that children have them, but he has them. The king of retro that is a custom shirt. This is a shirt that he made for himself. Actually to sell, but not a lot of those sell. And yeah, the tips goal is still at zero because he likes to do that. He needs to talk about stuff first. <laughs> he's so much worse than wings it's it's like hard to explain all the reasons why it's just there's so much more to him than to wings and i think the narcissism is the key because wings is an asshole he's a douchebag he's a racist that, that is pretty certain and he's made some incredibly stupid fucking statements and double down on him but but dsp is just something else something else entertainment wise where does the confusion come in exactly if you want to make fun of me okay all right that's one thing make fun of me for what i do wrong tell me i shouldn't ask my viewers for contributions tell me my content sucks but you don't get to determine what people are going to troll you for you just that's not how it works make that's fun of me for the works. things i do not for what i don't because what it seems to me is that there's this really weird association between me and wings that i what do i have to do with that you reacted to his video uh you talked about him quite quite some times and when you reacted to his video he did a restream of you and it was a weird thing that you associate yourself with him and you talked about shit in dms like why are you trying to say that you don't know how people associate you with wings and i get on both the level of streamer and lol cow there is a very direct association. Come on. You're reacting to each other's fucking videos. Right, and, he, no. and he watched the video about uh, champions, I think. Wings watch, uh, watched it. Nothing. So now you're telling me there's a group of trolls 
who don't like wings because okay. wings has done these awful things in their mind over the years. Okay. And he's mistreated people and he's blown money and he's lied about money and he abuses YouTube's DMCA. Let's get wings. Okay, we got wings. Let's get Phil. Wait, what? Where does that even come from? I have nothing to do with the guy. Seriously. I have nothing to fucking do. I don't, it doesn't make sense at all to me. That's his case. That's literally his case. It doesn't make sense why you would do it. And by the way, this isn't like an e-dick measuring contest. Say I'm better than the guy or worse than the guy. The point I'm making is I'm not Wings of Redemption. Okay. So why would you make some kind of a weird concerted effort to try to take down me or my business when I have nothing to do with Wings or you? That's what I don't understand. Like, uh, if there could be a justification, like, oh, well, you know, this is, what exactly have I done, right? I'm at a loss. I have yeah. enough shit. Okay, what What if I struck him down? If I struck him down, I'm a DSP troll, okay? I strike him down. This story would just be some fucking shithead struck me down. Like, I, I, I don't get how you fucking defend yourself from this by just saying, well, I don't get it. What the fuck? From people on a daily basis who try to bring me down, who try to ruin my business, who try to do messed up things to me and my family. Trust me. Hey, I thought we were kind of okay. It happens every day, all day. Oh, but it's every day, all day under attack. Well, I want to... I... <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to give you a perfect example here. You ready for this one? Of how I'm not like wings. My wife moved... To Connecticut, to move to Connecticut, excuse me, moved to Washington State with me and moved in with me in 2018. Who paid All for right? it? Over the course of that year. Who paid for it? Fans paid for it. They didn't even know they paid for it. She maybe was in. And he was lying to them like he was single. He was talking about being single at the time. Five videos and, and a stream. Okay. Okay. We maybe put out a small handful of pictures on the internet of her arriving and stuff like that. Okay, outside of that, it has been radio silent when it comes to my wife. The only time you hear about Kat is when I talk about, oh, something we did on our day off, or what are we up to, what do we have Or dinner she to? was stupid and broke the vacuum. She was stupid and turned off the power. She was stupid and broke the vacuum again. She was stupid and put uh, fucking cream cheese all over her uh, sandwich or something when she wasn't supposed to. She was stupid and she screwed up the Christmas rose. <laughs> Today, that's when you hear about my wife, Kat, right? She's not in my videos. Okay. <clears throat> she doesn't contribute to any kind of discussion. Or but it's like, like, why are you trying to make the point that you're different to Wings? How does that have to do with anything? The point is that you, they think that you're equally a piece of shit to Wings. So they want to take you down after they took down Wings. Is that not clear enough? or anything in regards to my content or my business. And now his whole, his whole argument, like he's in fucking court and his lawyer's entire case is that they are different people. So Phil, you shouldn't hate him for those reasons, but hate him for different reasons because he begs. And he's going to tell you the reasons that you should hate him. She very much is a part of my personal life that I've made an effort. And this fucking bullshit has never helped him out. The only thing this would do is make content for people that make fun of him and would make more people fuck with him for attention because these wing strolls now got a, a whole stream dedicated to them that is an ISIS execution style stream where he is fucking pleading to them for to, to have mercy on him because we haven't got into it yet but one more strike and he's gone but he's not going to be gone because he's going to fix it but you shouldn't know about that to separate from my public life. She's not part of DSP Gaming, okay? You guys made it clear years ago that if she ever became a major part of DSP Gaming, you were gonna tear her a new asshole for no good reason. She's never said anything to hurt anyone on the internet. She's literally never done anything messed up to anyone on the internet, okay? So why people would be nasty to her, I have no idea. So in 2018, we did a stream. I think it was 2018. Was it Halloween 2018? She's on, on my Halloween marathon. She dresses up in a costume. These people make an active effort to come to my stream and literally just insult her, bring up personal things about th things from... Uh, DSP, first of all, you did a terrible job of handling the whole thing.
Absolutely. You made yourself look like a whole cuck. Like an entire cuck. Entire loser. The way he handled that situation. He knew that people would show up. He told her in the past, because she's been on stream twice before. He told her and she knew that people would be trolling. And she was sitting there reading chat the whole time. What do you think the fuck would happen? What did you think would happen? But in a pure DSP move, he thought only about himself. And for him, the most beneficial thing is to drag Cat on stream and use her to make his stream more special and he can get more money. And when she was on stream, he didn't give a shit. And he gave a shit when fucking Tevin made fun of him and made Cat go away. And then it was Tevin's fault. And he was sitting there drinking through a fucking straw and blaming people on the internet for making his wife pissed off. So he looked like a bitch. His wife looked more like a bitch. And now he is sitting here looking like a bitch again, bringing that shit up. Her past life has nothing to do with her life now with me today. And they're just like slamming her on my stream. Now, they, they were slamming her. They're doing the best. Damn, I wish there were footage of that. They were slamming Cat on his stream and he had to watch. Just to clean it up, if she sees it, she gets incredibly upset. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? And then they tried to clean it up? Past life has nothing to do with her life now with me today. And they're just like slamming her on oh my, my stream. Oh my god, they're now, slamming her. They're doing the best to clean it up. She they're doing the best to clean it up. They were slamming her so hard. She's it. She was crying. She gets incredibly upset over it. She gets incredibly upset because they couldn't clean all of it up. And makes the determining decision. I never want to be in your content ever again. Oh, wow. That's some I toxic fucking content. to sit there and be abused and attacked. By yeah, they did. They, they, I mean, this is the closest that could happen to, to all of them slamming her live on stream. Because this was the fucking stream. Wait, where was it? And we're going to see the dynamics and the chemistry. It was very fucking messy. <laughs> Let's look at this. Uh, what what is it? DSP cat uh, Halloween, the iconic one. Uh, is it? Should we watch this one? Yeah, let's watch this one. It's a snorber now. So, oh, this is. Yeah, this when it was still going on. This how it was. She was sitting there, looking at chat as you can see, and then. As tradition follows, of course, DSP is gonna get trolled. He is gonna get trolled. And he, I guess he didn't know about it. And he didn't protect her in any way. He didn't tell her, don't look at chat. He could have asked her the questions that he thought were appropriate. One million, there's like a million Bob Ross emails. I knew this would happen. Yes, my children, I knew to. And all he cares is about the fucking Bob Ross emotes. All he cares is about himself. And not the person who is for the first time there in like a gimmick outfit. And they're having a special stream. He doesn't care. Because why? Because he got his. And his was making his stream a little bit more special. And having the trophy wife. The trophy girlfriend. And then they started slamming her. And then this happened. Uh, Monday. And she's got stuff she wants to do. You know, she's got stuff she's got to take care of. And... So uh, I want to say thanks, thanks obviously to her for being here for the first couple or a few hours uh, of the stream. You know, nice of her to join us and dress up and everything. But she's off. She may be here later tonight to say goodnight, like at the end of the stream. But yeah, she's off to do other stuff now. Okay. Some people earlier were asking what happened to Cat. Uh, bottom line is she's you know basically bummed out. That and he, he was definitely uh, tipsy in this clip. This is one of my favorite DSP clips. <laughs> And uh, last Christmas, when he got drunk, was kind of fun as well. He fell asleep. So many people were trolling. <gasps> oh, my God. And it sucks, because I knew that was going to happen. As I've told you guys, you know, previously, Cat has nothing to do with myself or my content or any of the negativity associated with me. And she thought, oh, this would be something nice to do to dress up for Halloween and come by the stream and hang out with everyone. And the excessive amount of trolling that was going on basically got to her, and she says, I want to go do other stuff. You know, I've been oh here for two God. games, and I'm not in a good mood anymore, and I want to go do other stuff. So, she <laughs> And he told us all of this just so he can get mad at Tevin.
that's why because why would you say things like that just say she had something somewhere to be she really liked being on the stream and she said that chat was great that's all prayer hands t pose and that's it let's carry on but no no she did basically she went on she, you know she's actually not even home right now she wanted to leave she's not even home right now she was this upset how do you think the trolls would feel if i was there in in dsp's chat calling cat an arabian stallion and the other things they were calling her and talking about exorcisms in subaru and completely dsp not understanding any of this and her just sitting there being slammed as, as dsp says i would feel great if i was one of those guys because i achieved my purpose and this dude told me that i achieved my purpose i wouldn't even know if she just vanished from the stream was she pissed did, did it work did my trolling work i wouldn't even know but he told me it did so thanks phil this is your bad mood um this now endorses more trolling that he will acknowledge again and it's a cycle you know and it sucks because i would you know Honestly, if the trolling wasn't so bad and if things weren't so nasty, she probably would be in my stuff a lot more often. I know you're lying, but that's the reason why she really hasn't been in anything because the trolling got so <laughs> And the chair nasty. shaking is great. You know, stuff about stupid shit, you know, about her looks, about her past stuff that has nothing to do with anything going on. And, you know, it pisses me off because... This is something special that we were building up and talking about for, for weeks and weeks. And she was really excited for it. And she went and got a costume for it and everything. And here she is trying to, do, she was going to start doing commentary. The first thing she sees when she looks at stream chat is trolling and nasty shit about her. And it totally turned her off. And basically after two games, she was like, I just don't want to be there anymore. And I was like, all right, you know, I'm not going to make you. Little sensitive sissy ninny. You know, they really are. Little special snowflakes who've been pet, <laughs> pet and, you know, protected by their parents all their lives. <clears throat> you know, if you really are upset, you know, it sucks. And I, I just want to say thanks to the mods. The mods are the only reason why he has any notoriety. Oh, okay, here like, it is, here it is. There, there's, there's nothing much else that we can do. Um, <laughs> you know. He was done with it. So here is when he was actually done. No. DSP tries it. There, there. And now we begin on to a whole new thing. There's a sick motherfucker on the internet called Tevin. Shout out! <laughs> Big ups, uh, Rojizi for the membership, dude. Big illegally restream re my fucking streams and has an army of fucking trolls who are the only reason why he has any notoriety is because he copies my shit and he eggs his trolls on to do negative shit like this. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. This is how you don't handle anything, man. He can't handle anything. Anything he talks about, it's always in the worst way possible. Always. So instead of making the troll's impact seem as less as possible, he just created this immortal moment, this eternal meme of being cucked by Tevin and his wife crying and leaving the house. He created that visual image for us. And all he had to do was say that everything was good and carry on. And the trolls would get so mad that they didn't piss her off. But secretly they did. And something, something, something. In the end, he died. To my stream and to basically make fun of my girlfriend and do nasty shit. It's his fault that this kind of stuff happens. It's his fault. Good at lying. So go and slap him on the wrist and tell him not to do that ever again and be a nice, positive content creator. <laughs> and anyone who supports that kind of fucking content is a mentally ill asshole who has no fucking <laughs> conscience or morals. And, the and now we're nice, by the way. Now we're nice. When we watch the level one podcast, oh, you know, this. It, they're kind of helping me and getting better, you know, because I'm constantly under criticism. Now we're amazing. Super positive. Super, super interactive. Here, anyone who supports Tevin in what he does is a mentally ill criminal asshole person. Not even a person. You're not even a person. You're dehumanized completely.
by an audience I don't know, have never had interaction with, and don't insult or do anything with. All right? Here's oh, another you, wait, wait. You don't insult the audience? Did he say that? Did I he have. mean to say that? I don't even insult those trolls. Why would they want to fuck with me? I only insult my... To say, my wife is not my ex, and I'm tired of this bullshit. All right? My ex was a very ab ab abrasive person who would attack people on the internet and cause issues. Oh, there my you wife go. is not my fucking ex. She has nothing to do with her, and I'm tired <laughs> of this shit. It has to end at some point. We were going to act like now all negativity that was thrown towards people from my past gets thrown towards people in my present. Fucking stop. All right? She doesn't <laughs> we deserve We roast the shit out of Liana. We throw her completely out the under the bus, the man. Shit that she gets on a daily basis. We destroy Liana. fucked in the head. And just have to think that she is a tar She's not a target for anyone. She hasn't done anything. But what see? are we like? What? What are you talking about right now? Now he just made wants to make everybody a victim because that's that's the whole point. I'm a victim. I haven't done anything to you. Please spare me. That's that's the whole thing for two and a half hours, two hours and ten minutes, and then there was more during the quote unquote content part of the stream. What's the difference between me and Wing? Wings does have his wife in his content. Wings does have videos and streams. But TSP, you don't get to decide who's going to get trolled. That's kind of the whole point. You don't get to decide this. And yes, you don't like being trolled. And yes, you don't understand why people are trolling you. And that is a part of why they're trolling you. And it's going to be a cycle of that happening until you're gone. That's just it. And some people want you to be gone much faster than other, other people want, want you to be gone. And they're willing to do something about that. So that's kind of the difference. Using pictures with his wife in it. Obviously, then people are going to attack her. All right. So they were kind of expecting that. Right. I don't even do that. They also attack her because she's fat. They attack her because he flirts with other people. And then those screenshots get posted on the Internet. Uh, yeah. I purposely said, I'm drawing the line. I'm just going to put out content for you guys that's separate from the other shit. That way we don't have to deal with that. And people do it anyway. They go out of their way to seek out personal shit about me and my life, my family members. No, 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 DSP. At this point, you, you have to admit you're partially a drama streamer. Because if we look at the history of the Level 1 podcast, a lot of the, the big Level 1 podcast moments are drama-related moments. And his tweets will point to that. And his titles of the videos and the content in those videos are going to point to these being drama-centric videos. Just like this one. Just like the final word on Review Tech USA. Just like the final word on Keemstar. DSP, you are a drama streamer. Partially. But he needs to acknowledge that. And then the things are going to become more clear about why people don't like Wings and him. And why they associate them so much. There's their backgrounds, all kinds of fucked up stuff. The doxing, it's awful. It's terrible. It's really fucked up what people have done in regards to just anything around me. And I don't have any control over it. I can't stop those people from doing these messed up things. I'm very, I feel awful to anyone who gets this thing through. I mean, especially my wife, but other people too. Fans, viewers, other people associated get negatively affected by this shit, okay? And another thing that um people hate dsp for is that he's willing to make himself look like the most worthless and the most powerless the stupidest piece of shit just so he can get people's money or or sympathy he's willing to make himself like the biggest piece of shit the biggest loser just so he can get pity out of people which is something that wings also does because in this case, DSP is nothing but a loser. If you're a random person, you stumble on this. Somebody's copyright striking him. His wife is crying. The layout looks like it's for fucking children. He's dressed like this. He hasn't shaved in a long fucking time. It looks this fucking pale and lame. The background is like this. What are you going to think? You're going to think this is the biggest fucking failure ever. And he just sits there and tells you about how much of a failure he is. In people trolling him. People that are not even associated with him trolling him. So again, I got to ask the question. How am I wings of redemption? I haven't done the things that you guys have issues with, with him. I don't... And if you actually listen to what he's saying, he's just pleading to the trolls. He's begging them to, 
to have mercy on him. Like, what are you gonna think about a guy like this as your first impression? Have? You think this is the positive fucking guy that you're gonna play video games with and you're gonna hang out with? People coming on my streams involved. Why are you treating me like someone I'm not? And how on earth do you make that association and feel that that's fair? That's nuts. That doesn't make any sense at all. Go after Darkseid Phil, who is not the person we hate, because we already took down the person we hate. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you not understand? You've now begun the road to your own destruction. Your own destruction. When, if you start taking down everyone on the internet, right? You're going to have nothing left to make fun of. And right now you're in a... And this is the worst part. ...protected position. Because right now... This is when he bends over and, and gets fucked. This is when he gets fucked. Because from here on, his argument is he's arguing for the trolls. He is, he is empowering the trolls. He's telling us, come on, guys, leave me here so you can make fun of me. Come on. You can do this. You just want to make fun of me, right? You don't want me to be destroyed. And, and he, by this, like I just said, he's willing to make himself look like the biggest, most worthless piece of shit just so he can get pity. There really are and then after this, he went and changed his name on Twitter to DSP the Unstoppable. After this, after bending over and taking it, he changed his name to DSP the Unstoppable. After fucking begging for mercy from people that don't even associate with him, random trolls. He admits they are random trolls. They're not Phil trolls. They'll, therefore, they don't even have actual criticisms like the Phil trolls do. They just want to see him down. And he's going to bend over. And, and he's going to argue in their favor. There are no laws or regulations against online trolling. They're starting to be, as you're seeing. Uh, there's, it's getting so there bad. There are regulations. Cases. There's people who are committing... That's why there are such things called terms of service, which are custom style regulations to say it in a DSP language way. There are regulations that every platform has. And those community guideline strikes were a result, uh, not guideline strikes, but guideline infractions, offenses. They were a result of him breaking those rules. The rules for bullying and hate speech, right? Suicide. And now you have the FBI and you have other legal bodies looking into places like kiwi farms and other places for this kind of shit going down and now he's also arguing in your favor and he's saying that you should calm it down you should take it easy man because the feds might go out for you just like you know i'm i'm just saying i'm just saying you want me on your side come on you we're chill right we're actually chill all right you've had your way for a long time you would think you would know that and enjoy it rather than like saying listen we are, we're really having a good time doing what we're doing. Let's overstep and shoot ourselves in the foot. Like, why would you do that? I know it's kind of weird <laughs> trying to appeal, like, logically. To it, it's not even he's playing devil's advocate. He's straight up, like, pleading their case. People who obviously... Actually, my case, basically. Because I agree he should stay on so we can make fun of him. Because my... my train of thought is that I want to make fun of him. So I'm not going to go and take him down. So yeah, thanks for being on my side, Phil. Thank you. I appreciate it. You don't care about that. But then again, you used to call me a fucking idiot, loser, mentally ill, uh, and all these other things. So how, what is this logic? Because if they have- Now we're friends? You know, any kind of, you know what, let me put it this way. The reason I'm appealing logically is because it's obviously these people don't have morals. If they did, they wouldn't do what they're doing. Yes, again. then all this this words is bullshit. If they don't have morals, nothing you can say will stop them from taking you down. That's just how it is. Anyway, right? So all of this is actually for your fans, so they can see how much of a victim you are, and they can give you that sweet money, right? They don't have morals, so I have to try to appeal logically to them. You understand? If you shut down Wings permanently, if you shut down me permanently, if you shut down LTG, if you shut down Review Tech USA, if you shut down every lol cow on the internet, you have nothing left. And the worse it gets, the more you escalate, the more you break the law, the more you violate to do it. It's 
<laughs> this dude is so fucking stupid, man. Let's just carry on with the next one. I'm I'm just surprised this is so early in the whole thing. It's one thing to just make fun, because that could be protected. If you take down every lol cow, you'll have nothing left. But when you're breaking the law to do what you're doing, you actually Come are going to end up destroying yourselves. You're not that important. You are not that important, DSP. We're not destroying ourselves. Nothing forces me to make fucking streams about you. I can just not do that like I have been doing for a while. It's the same for everybody else. You're not that important. If you go away, we're just going to talk about something else. Some people are going to still talk about DSP because with DSP, if you want to do a video on him, a stream on him, and every single piece of drama he's ever done, it's going to take you a long time, and you can make a lot of them. So people can still talk about DSP and reminisce on the good old drama sagas of the 2010s. But you're not that important. At some point, there's going to be some new Christian and some new lol cow because they pop up real damn fast. Because everybody has internet nowadays. And that's just how it works. So yeah, DSP, there's going to be a lot more DSPs. It's going to get looked into and things are going to end up changing for the worst for you. And he's giving you a parent talk now. He's both pleading for mercy and he's condescendingly giving you a parent discussion. I can't believe I'm actually kind of saying this, but I'm trying to help you not destroy yourselves because you and are- And he is helping you. He is begging you for help. He's begging you to not take him down because this whole thing, we're talking to the wing strolls. But he's also helping you not destroy yourself. This is the fucking weird, weirdest fucking DSP thing, man. We're at this point going too far with the way that you're trying to go about doing this stuff. You understand? There's a difference between let's make fun of someone and get off doing it and, and benefit from doing it. I don't agree with the practice, but I'm never going to take that down. I guess Wings did. I did not. But when you try to actively go out of your way to break the law. Also, another thing. Uh, he said he wouldn't take it down because he's not that guy. We clarified it's because it's illegal, because he also said it, because it's not legal. That's the first reason why he's not going to do it. The second reason is that people would get more pissed. And those people that are simply making videos about him, and if they take, get taken down by him, they might get more pissed off and actually go and get and try and take him down. Right? To try to take someone down, it can only last for so long. All right. And you are at this point, from what I've heard from the shit that's going down, like I said, people actually taking their own lives and stuff. It's going to get worse and worse. And I don't want to see the Internet completely locked down and, and completely policed like some kind of a, a, a police state. I don't. But that's the way. Um, DSP, that can happen. It's going to go if you keep going the way you're going. You can, you know, there, there's no, making it's... fun. Then there's trolling. Then there's detracting. You like there's these different levels. No, detracting is before trolling. Detracting is actually even. I don't. I don't even fucking know. He invented detracting. He calls it fucking detracting. I don't even call it detractor. I would rather be called a troll because that's exactly what I do. But when you take it to the level of just hurt people, fucking what the fuck is detracting? People as far as we can. No, we don't even Get care what here. the end game is. Even if we kill ourselves. Do no, they have a different end game, Phil. You fucking moron. That's the whole point. Everybody has a different end game. That's not my end game to see you get taken down in 2022. I want him to be here until like 2026 or 2030. But I'm not going to do anything about it. So if they get taken, if he gets taken down, then that that's going to be it doing it in the process you know we're destroying our own everybody has a different end game dsp I don't, how does that make sense you it doesn't make sense in your head for a second i get it you get your jollies off ha 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 wings of redemption can't stream anymore but now you have no content move on to the next well now i'll have no content it's just going to end at some point you see so anyway obviously hopefully this is making sense to some people all right now i need to tell you what's going on with dsp gaming all right I received false copyright strikes against the channel. The first time we addressed this is 44 minutes in. 
Not happy about this. Fantastic. I've not had a false copyright strike in many years, and the last time that I had one, I was able to clear it up relatively quickly because the person was impersonating someone they were not. And I was able to prove that, and within, I think it was about a day and a half, YouTube had removed the copyright strikes, and everything was fine, and since then I haven't had an issue. Okay? What I have now is I have strikes against my channel that are completely false. All right? I have legal evidence that they are false. Let's put it that way. There's no this person legal is not evidence. Stand on yeah, we get issuing it. Issuing false strikes against DSP Gaming at all. Yeah. There's no way that they can make a legal claim the way that they're doing. Um it's it's an abuse. Hey, of they're the not going to make a legal claim. Cuz if they were to make a legal claim, they got to sue your stupid ass. But this is what is kind of interesting to me. Uh, that what if somebody actually decides to sue DSP? Somebody that got enough money to outlast him decided to just take him to court. It, that would be massive fucking drama. That would be real fucking funny. The law. Again, if that was my end game, I would go for it, but it's not. Okay, but <laughs> YouTube... Imagine you fucking sue DSP. You do like a, a lol cow kind of a, a kamikaze lawsuit where you go you go bankrupt, but DSP also goes bankrupt. Basically needs to entertain it. They need to look into it. So here's here's what's happened this morning. I go to turn on. You're gonna go go out as a legend. Uh, <laughs> a, a suicide detractor, but not I, like I that. I turn on my stream, and I get a pop up saying. You have copyright strikes against the channel. Multiple, God damn. Not one, multiple. Okay? You need to address these. And then, if you get one more, you're basically, your channel can be terminated permanently and blah, blah, blah. It's the By the way, this, this fucking... I'm not even sure if he was stupid or he said it on purpose. I don't have one strike. I have multiple. Everybody knows if you get three strikes, channel gets deleted. So if he had not one strike but more than one strike, but less than three, and called it a multiple. This fucking little weasel loser. And he called it like that just to make himself more of a victim. Generic shit that they put in there, all right? Really generic shit. So. It's not even worth mentioning. First thing I had. But he had multiple strikes, you guys. Not one, but multiple. To do. That's not three and not four. Was immediately counterclaimed. Which says, no, this is nonsense. It's not legal. If they want to take me to court, they have to take me to court. Remove this immediately. Okay? Which I did. All right? That's the first step you take. Sadly, with YouTube's system, it takes way too long for shit like that to clear up. It takes two business weeks to have that shit reversed. All right? So, essentially now for two business weeks, I'm at risk. That if anything else happens to the channel, it could get shut down completely. Here again. Terrible. I understand you want to be as, as much of a victim as possible to get as much money as possible. That's the DSP way. But don't be telling people you're going to be vulnerable for two weeks, you fucking idiot. What do you think is going to happen? For two weeks, is going to be open season. On every single racial slur he's ever said, and every single transphobic comment, every time he called somebody a fag, every single time something like that happened. Every intro that got submitted to him is probably going to get shot. It's going to be crazy. Why would you say this? It, you can let people figure it out by themselves, but don't just outright say it. Completely. Just to make himself do this face. And he said it just so he can do this face. This face means he is sad and you should give him money to turn this face into the other face that is a little bit different, but it, it looks more like a smile. All right. Now, I don't feel that I'm going to have the channel shut down completely in any way, shape, or form. I'll always get it back. The problem is if this channel gets shut down, I, I have to make a living. As I've explained to you guys, <clears throat> I am in a situation. You're going to go back to Twitch. Take tips, and you're going to survive. All right, where I do not have. Because it's going to be a big event. You know this. Everybody knows this, man. I don't know if, how DSP is that stupid. If he got his YouTube channel deleted with 60,000 fucking videos on it, He's going to go on Twitch. He's going to be a massive victim because he got a channel that is 12 years old with 200k subs deleted. 
he's gonna get everyone who ever cared about him to come back and give him a dollar and he's gonna make about fifty dollars and then some of those people would actually give him a couple hundred more and it would be a good day flexibility financially and then eventually he would be a partner again he would beg for gifted subs again and it would be like nothing ever happened except he's like two years older and he looks 15 years older i do not have money in the bank i have no savings i have to work six days a week full time i have to work six days a week full time this is one of the things that somebody if somebody works six days a week full time and heard this guy and this guy was right in front of him they would just beat him into not existing to make a living to make ends meet to pay my bills okay so if i can't stream six days a week i can't pay my bills i will lose things i will go into financial ruin and it will ruin my life you understand that all right now i think that some people think that's funny or is acceptable because of these conspiracy theories on the internet yeah uh, I do think that because I think it's pretty funny because he would rather that happen. Keep blaming everybody while that is happening, while he is going in ruin and eventually die homeless or something. I don't know if what is what he's happening actually happens. He would rather do that than actually take things into his own hands and work, work hard on anything until he's in a place where he has hasn't doesn't have to depend on everyone else especially people that he doesn't even know that he just hopes care about him imagine what kind of fucking life is this we just jump on stream and hope people care about you enough to to let you exist to let you keep living wow that's what i think is pretty funny internet about me okay it's not all right it is not fair because here's the thing and here's what you got to understand too even if you hate me let's say you absolutely positively hate phil for some various reason who knows what they are right i am not the only person who i support i have a wife okay and i have jasper which means you should be more responsible you should know what your fucking backup plan is phil you should have all of this set up if like you say People fuck with you on a daily basis. And you care about those people. You care about Kat. You care about Jasper. You're gonna fucking work until you don't depend on random internet fucking strangers. That's what you're gonna do. Don't be bringing them up now when you're facing a disaster as a meat puppet, a fucking meat shield, a human shield, and a cat shield. Fantastic, DSP. That's what you're gonna do. Instead of taking any kind of fucking responsibility. And go and do something that's gonna help you get out of this hole instead of just fucking hoping and coping. Right? I have to support them. If you take away my business and I can't work, I have no money to support them. You understand? And what's funny is these people make up the most dumb shit like, oh. Like what? Sell your house and rent a small apartment. What you could do is you could just sell your house or something. Yes absolutely something no i cannot all right if i sell my home i'd have to get another i can't afford another home I hey big ups alex monty for 20 gifted subs dude big ups uh where's the thing it's downboard hey yeah big ups baller alert calling out baller alert Wait, there was another, uh, also another shout out. Big ups, Meth Bear, for the five dollar uh, contribution. Isis shall throw the weave, and their crusty. What the fuck is this? Da da, Daki Makura from every roof. Neko girls with cocks are godless perversion. Dab on Shaitan every day. This, are you sure this is a a contribution for me? Why would you send me something I don't understand? This is like Phil. Huh? What is this? What was he trying to say? And then this music plays and everybody is confused and then we go back to begging. Anyways... I have no money. I have no credit. I can't even take out a loan to <laughs> That was such a great moment, man. Buy another home. Okay? I have no credit. I can't even go through the whole process of getting an apartment. 
the apartment holder would say, well, you have terrible credit and you're unreliable, so therefore, you know, we're not going to grant you the ability to even get an apartment. I literally, if I lose this house, I have nowhere to go. You understand? I'm stuck here. Now, my hope is that over the next 10 years or so. 10 years! Another 10 years! Oh yeah, I was talking about ISIS. Yeah, I did. But then, then we got a bunch of like weeb references that there's no way I would understand. In some like Japanese words that I should get a uh, ALT insider in here to pronounce. My credit will get better and eventually in the long term, I can either refinance this home or do something to save myself from the situation I'm in. Right now, I'm literally stuck where I am. I can't move, I can't sell my home, I can't do anything. I just have to be here and ride the course, all right? What's funny is it's so dumb. Big ups for the very chill, cold face <laughs> content. Wait, what? Cold this face. should be illegal, Meerkat. You're spitting out nothing but facts. I got this loud Max in the shower. I'm laughing so hard it cured my depression. FN legend. <laughs> big ups, dude. You're a legend. People don't think big picture. Big they only think, well, I don't like... Why are you listening to this in the shower, bro? What? Phil... So let's do we don't even have music going on today. I should have kept the, the white run song. Everything to possibly take down and destroy Phil, right? <laughs> but enjoy your shower, even I guess. Remember to, to scrub the balls, like DSP said in his own shower video. That's the case. There's <laughs> other people here. My wife and my pet are both reliant on me to give them a, 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 a roof over their head to provide for... I, I'm not worried for, for Jasper. There is such a thing... There is a thing such as stray cats that exist, so I'm not worried for him. He's gonna survive. And Cat can just find a, another boyfriend, just like she did with uh, Super Jeff. For them, when you hurt DSP Gaming, you're hurting other people that don't even factor into the equation of what you don't like. How are you okay with that? And she also has her own income. But then again, these are the same people who have attacked my wife for years, and she has nothing to do at all with my content or me. She's completely separated herself on purpose. She, she has nothing to do with my content or me. My wife. What? Bro, this dude is just talking at this point. My wife, she, get, she has nothing to do with my content or me. Hey, with that. But then again, <laughs> these are the same people who have attacked my wife for years, and she has nothing to do at all with my content or me. I don't even know her. She's completely separated herself on purpose. She <laughs> She's completely separated herself. Did you get divorced? So you can have nothing to do with each other? <laughs> and I know what he means, which is pretty much like nothing, but... You want to be part of the toxic internet, yet Man, they still come do on. It, right? <clears throat> so, you see what I'm, what's, what I'm saying here? All the things that they say, as this is what we want you to do, right? Cannot Who be says done. this? What is happening? Oh yeah, uh, people starting to collect their memberships. Big ups. Literally every little thing that they say. Oh, sell your home, go get an apartment, do refinance, do this, do that. None of them are viable. Don't you None think? None of them are Use viable. Your head for a second. Don't you think that if I could refinance my home, I would do it right now? Ah, uh, bruh. People have been telling you viable fucking ideas since you moved, and you're still in the shit. A viable idea is sell that house that is too big for you and too expensive to have and then rent some place until you're out of debt and rent some place that you can afford you and a woman and a cat don't need too much space you don't need to be in the best part of town because you don't need to and you can't afford it so just downscale Stop living like a fucking celebrity in that gated community and go somewhere with normal people have a normal fucking life that doesn't cost 5,000 American dollars per month. Even with That's pretty fucking viable. Come on. The interest rate's up. Why would I care? If I could get some cash why out would to I pay care? all the back shit that I owe and I'm in a good financial position, why wouldn't I do that? Because I can't. I just declared bankruptcy two years ago. I have zero credit. Like, seriously, my, my credit score is at the bottom, bottom of the barrel. And again, we're, we're always thinking about credit. Whenever DSP thinks about money, it's always related to him generating it through YouTube ad revenue, being given to him, or credit, which is you just get money from somebody. They just give you money with some stipulations to it, right? Some conditions that you got to turn it back. Of course, he doesn't fulfill any of those and in the end just declare bankruptcy. That's the DSP way. 
Again, we can't think of possibly working something else, earning some other source of income, some other thing, something else. We can't think of that. And it's not going to come up for years and years. There's nothing I can do about this. I'm stuck where I am. I'm stuck in a situation stuck. where I have to work six days a week. I don't want to work six days a week. I have to. I'm in a situation. You don't have to, actually. Where I have to. Every There's plenty of trolls talked about it plenty of times on plenty of platforms. How DSP would benefit having more days off because more stuff would happen that he will talk about. People would care more. And yeah, but no, he's not going to do that every once in a while because he's convinced himself that streaming every day is the good thing. While when things are rough and tight, ask my viewers for support. OK, yeah, when things are rough, I beg, which is all the time. No, he asks people for support explicitly every single day. I don't like doing that. I would like to just sit here in ways that many people think are not moral or are just straight up could be illegal. And that's why they call them out. And do a podcast every day and play games for you guys. And that would be my content. I wish I could do that. I can't. That's not reality for me. One day it hopefully will be. I want to get back to where I used to be. And if people would stop messing with me for a few years and I could just refinance my home and do the things I need to do to get back on my financial feet, then that would none never of this would be a problem anymore. You would never hear me begging anymore on my stream. No, that would, you would never, never happen. Hear me asking for support. It could just be, hey, those options are there. Please do them if you would like. Let's just have fun on a stream. But the thing is, when you take actions like what you're doing today, all right, you have to understand this. When you're hitting me with false copyright strikes, when you're trying to hit me with false community strikes, you're just making the situation worse. And this is what has happened systematically over and over and over to me over the years. Bro, that's, yeah, of course it's going to happen because right now he's talking down to the 99% of trolls who don't do that. And those people just sit here and, and nod and are like, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, this will make you beg more. We know that. And we're going to get our videos talking about it. And yeah, we, we didn't do it. We don't mind when it happened because you are talking about it. We are talking about it. You know how this works. But in this case, he's talking to the 1%. <clears throat> okay, you made me more of a beggar than I am. People hit me. Even though he was a beggar from day one. Because he started doing YouTube full time with just hope. Just as what he is left with today. Simply hoping. And in his face reveal, he was like, Guys, it would be really cool if I can do this for a living. Thanks. Bye. And then he started expecting to do this for a living for about 15 years. Me with false, you know, false takedowns, false copyrights. I then have my channel fall out of prominence on YouTube and in the search algorithm. Oh, speaking of which, he deleted those videos with the copyright strikes. And he lost a lot of views. I'm going to pull it up now as a no graph. Now no one can find DSP Gaming anymore. All of a sudden, I'm not getting the views I used to get anymore. Right? So because of that, you know, I can't make a living like I used to. So now I have to open a Patreon. Now I have to have other contribution methods. Oh, we don't like that Phil's asking for, for income. But you're the ones who All created right, the situation. I was making enough. He was making enough. Enough, by the way. Okay, we're gonna get back to that. Uh, see this. Well, this is Social Blade, and it's not exactly exact to say, but it gives us kind of a fair idea of, of what happened here, uh, where I don't think it's gonna reflect on this graph, but here it's enough. We got one day with 25,000. We can just assume what happened here. I don't know, but he was at a loss of 17,000. So maybe in this day, something, something happened here, right? He deleted those videos. And he also made, I guess, let's say about 25,000 on top of this 17 that he lost. So you kind of negated. I guess that's how it works. But yeah, he did delete some videos or made them private. In any case, algorithm sees it the same. And the social blade weirdness works the same way. Yeah, this is not his accurate sub count anyways let's go back to this to pay my bills and to not have this issue you destroyed dsp gaming and created the situation that you don't like you're doing it again 
All you need to do is make fun of me for years and go ahead, make your restreams, make your videos, <laughs> make your dumb. Look at this, look at this man. Bending over, bending over. All you have to do, please make fun of me. Please make fun of me for years. Please. Don't fuck conspiracy theories, please. do whatever you want. All right? Go ahead. I'm not going to strike you down. I'm not going to hurt you. Do whatever you want. I promise you that. I'll never do that. All right? But you can't because you said it was illegal. That's what you just said. So if you do it, people are going to report you for it, and you're going to suffer for it. And that's why you don't want to do it. And also, trolls are going to be more salty at you for doing it. And they're going to do nastier stuff. But what you need to do... Because don't, don't forget, people troll him what I think is kind of the origin of, of, of people trolling DSV is just him dismissing and disregarding everything they say in his own comments or on, on his forum or, or on, on his Twitter. And then he rejects them in some way. And then they decide to take it the next step and make a video about it. And nowadays it's just kind of the standard because people know that they can't get to this guy. He's just too deluded. He's just too narcissistic. For you to get your point across. So instead people have just started. Skipping the first step. Of trying to get to him. And explain to him. And then just. They just make a video about it. You need to leave me alone. So that I can keep making content for you to make fun of. If you illegally strike me down with shit like this. And you disrupt the business. Now I can't make content anymore. Okay. If I, get hit with I think it's also going to hurt him a lot. If he gets completely deplatformed. And people just simply not care about him to make videos about him. I think that's going to hurt him immensely. Like his ego. This kid's going to think, man, even those fucking assholes, mentally ill, obsessed people, they don't even care about me anyways. They just carried on to the next guy. I guess I'm not special. One more strike on DSP Gaming. I can't stream here. There will be nothing for you to restream or make fun of. What's the point of that? It doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Seriously. If your problem with me is, Phil, stop begging, okay? Give me a few years. Give me a few years. Phil, I'm okay with you fucking begging. I can see you're worthless and you're useless and you have no desire to do anything. At least beg in a fucking nice way. That's all I want. That's what I think. At least beg with some humbleness, knowing that you're this piece of shit. Don't beg because you're entitled to 150 fucking dollars a stream. Don't beg like that. Beg like you're a person. Let me do my shit, make fun of me for three, four more years. Hopefully my credit will improve. I'll be able to refinance my home. Boom. Now I'm back on, on a way where I don't need to do that anymore. I won't have to constantly be saying, hey, we got to hit a tip skull and this and that. But you're making it worse. With your actions. Do you not understand that? <clears throat> I don't care. Actually, this watching this for the second time make, made me not care. So if they take him down, I don't care. If, if he stays up, I don't care. But if somebody wants to go after him, I don't care. Okay. Because this whole fucking talking down is, is so fucking dumb. And, and it's like, because he knows he's talking to a few people that go the the extra step to try and hit him and he's this like man if i go away what are you gonna do with your existence and it makes me want to want to see him go away and for him to see how these people just vanish so and they don't talk about him again they don't care about him again and one day it's gonna be hey remember dark side fucking phil this dude they took him down man and he works in like a uh, like a scrapyard no, oh, this dude would never work in a scrapyard. Of course, everyone is trying to say, well, what's going on? What's a I can't give you details. If I give you details, it could be considered doxing. It could be considered doxing. Because, and, and it makes him give you this face, this smug fucking face. It's not doxing. It can be considered doxing unless you do may maybe some mental gymnastics. Because what he's gonna, what he's hiding is that what got struck is, a, is an intro that he got uh, made by some guy. The intro was pretty bad. And I, I guess it. Oh. 
okay? All right, we're back. Uh, I unplugged my headphones by accident because, of course, it happens. I'm not muted. I'm back. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, I forgot what I was saying, man. This sucks. It could. If I actually told you exactly what's going on, it could be considered dox. Oh, yeah. He deleted those videos. Uh, it was an intro. So if he told you it was an intro that went away, then you would go and look up who made it, and then you could find them, which I guess uh, is not doxing. I don't see that as doxing. That's pretty ridiculous. And it could be Considering he sent some, somebody's fucking driver's license in his Discord, I think him making a doxing point about something like this is a pretty, pretty big fucking stretch. ...against me. So I can't do that. I can't tell you, oh, here's the exact situation of what's going on or whatever. Here's what I can tell you. All right. The strikes are false. All right. The content that apparently is being claimed for copyright. I am 100% in the right. Okay. Okay. Because he sent you an email and he told you, hey, Phil, you can use this thing. Yeah, but why? Why were you taking shit from random fucking dudes? You said content. Why? Why? Hundred percent legally. There is no legal argument uh, here for the claimant to make against me. It's one hundred percent bogus. Okay. The problem is YouTube has to review the situation. All right. So allow me to tell you what's going on. Because all I can do is kind of tell you right now, uh, you know what's going on. All right. Okay. Tell me. Oh. But you can't tell me what got struck. You can't tell me who did it. You can't tell me your backup plan because you don't have one. What are you going to tell me again? God. Oops, what is happening? Hold on a minute. Uh -oh. If you can believe it, I'm getting tons of messages. Uh-oh, tons of messages. Something is happening. And of course, maybe something else is getting hit. Oh, look at this hairline. God damn. So... It's not just the hairline. When I pause it like this, all of the the shapes on his face are just special. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. It's like looking at a at a weird old grandma and trying to figure out how the fuck did you age this much? <sighs> Unreal. Unreal. Too. Anytime that something like this happens. Okay. Among the troll community, there's always a crazy infighting. Like, there's people who actively wanted to see me react to This Is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Solid 2, and they love it. And there's other people who are like, I just don't want Phil to have the ability to do anything. Oh, wait, there was some uh, some pop-ups. I'm sorry, the, the thing might have not worked out. Uh, let me make it so it works out, okay? You must Where's be so arrogant that all the armies gathered together to take you down. Bruh. Okay, I'm like gonna read this the, the shout-out to myself. Stuff I'm, if I'm you sorry. Big ups, uh, Duma Lupe for the 10. Super chat. Uh, baffled that DSP maintains a pretense that he's a creator or entertainer. While making all of his personal woes public, he's the online equivalent of standing on, under an overpass with a cardboard sign. Well, I've, I've, I, I like to say as he's like a, like a street musician, I guess. But every once in a while, he just leaves his instrument and just starts shaking a cup. It's, it's really a weird fucking dynamic. It's very weird. Uh, but big ups for the contribution. Um, big ups, Yosef, for the five. You must be so arrogant that all the armies gathered together to take you down. Like, this is some Lord of the Rings stuff if you resurrected the old. This is like... I mean... There is, uh, if you mean about the infighting, I, I guess he is kind of right. People on Kiwi Farms were kind of split, uh, and they all had different opinions, but that's, of course, what's going to happen. Because some people want him to just sit there and do his thing and just observe. Some people think that he deserves much worse than that, and some people think he deserves much worse than that, and they're willing to give it to him. So... Of course, when those people disagree, when they are allowed to be uh, anonymous, they're going to go somewhere and they're going to disagree. And a lot of the times, of course, it's going to turn into a shitstorm. Right? And so they fight amongst themselves. They attack each other. They dox each other. It's pretty fucked up. So I got to say this as well. All right? 
I am not going to be involved in any of that. I'm not going to be involved in doxing. I'm not going to be involved in any of that shit. All right? I don't have the ability to, to go after someone on the internet. You're wasting your time. Because there's people already, I can tell you right now, there's people reaching out and they're like, I think it's this person and, you know, I have information on them. I don't care. I want nothing to do with it. I'm not going to deal with any of that shit. I'm not involved. All right? All I'm doing is I'm appealing to the people who are issuing false shit against DSP Gaming right now. Okay? Stop it. And here's why. It's Stop in your it. best interest. Stop it. And here's why. <laughs> you want to This is so bad. This is so bad, man. Because cause he wants to tell him stop it. He wants to, to lay down the law. He wants to say the bottom line. But he is at their mercy. So he has to plead with them. So what he says is stop it. And this is why. Because it's good for you. Oh my god. Thanks, Phil. Thanks. You're always watching out for my best interest as somebody who doesn't like you. And again, this is another instance of DSP thinking about more about the trolls than about his own fucking fans when he produces content. Uh, big ups, uh, King of Prominence for six months uh, membership who says Court of Appeals. To be able to keep making fun of me. You want to be able. You want to, to be able to make fun of me. Uh, shouldn't I be in jail for this? You're giving me very mixed signals, Phil. And, and now you're arguing in my favor? Something that I should have written on Kiwi Farms, I guess? <laughs> this, what he's saying, is something that the trolls argue about. Stop the nonsense. Stop. Right? You want to make fun of Phil, guys. Come on. But, but he's making the argument for you. This is wild. Big ups uh, Nova Sarah for nine months, dude. That's a lot of months. Now you get a new thing, uh, an icon thing. You, I want to make cool. fun of Phil. I want to make fun content. I want to make fun I of Phil. I want to restream him. I want to laugh at him and his misfortunes. And you know what? Maybe in five years, three years, he gets back on his feet and he'll stop begging. In which case, No, no, bro. Nobody is saying that. You're a lol cow for life. That's it. No, there's no in five years Phil is going to stop begging. Phil's going to be addicted to mobile games in five years. He's addicted to mobile games now. He was five years ago. So he's going to be the same guy. He's going to live paycheck to paycheck until the end of time because that's how he's comfortable and he never wants to be uncomfortable. And when you're a person like this, there's gridlock and you can't change. You just can't. You can think about in five years and 10 years, 20 years, and then live every day the same until you get to that point. And you're like, hey, I guess nothing changed. Maybe we can try in 10 years. Maybe we won't have so much of an issue with them anymore and we can move on to the next, right? Maybe we can try in but 20. But now, what you're doing is you're destroying what you love to make fun of. What you're doing makes no sense at all, all right? Don't come, reach out. Oh, Phil can now attack this person or that person. Phil is not attacking anyone. Phil sits here on a fun stream and makes content for you guys every day. Because Phil doesn't have any power attacking anyone. Phil doesn't have any benefit or profit attacking anyone. That's why he isn't doing it. He's not doing it because he's a good person. He's not doing it because it's not in his best interest to attack anyone. It's not in his best interest to shut down anyone because they're going to come back. Maybe they're going to come back on YouTube. Maybe they're going to come back on Twitch. Maybe they're going to go on Facebook gaming, but they're going to come back and they're going to be more salty. And now they're going to have a good reason because they got taken down. And they will have an excuse. Because he just went over the whole reason why people wanted to take down Wings. And successfully took it down, right? Because their excuse was he was taking down their stuff. And he's making the argument that he doesn't want to take down their stuff. Of course you don't. Don't expect people to respect you for it. Because it's just not in your best interest. That's all Phil does. That's all Phil's ever going to do. Phil's not going to take down this, contact that docs this do that it's not phil and i'm not doing that at all okay i refuse all right so anyone trying oh i'm gonna reach out to phil and give him the information of who i think it is i don't care i don't care i'm not doing anything with it what i need is people to stop the bullshit right now hopefully i am logically appealing to some people to make them understand what they're doing makes no sense and hopefully this will be turned around i hope it will because the thing is they can drop the copyright strikes. Anyone who issues false claims can cancel their claims 
and therefore the strikes get removed. Oh, this is such a great place we can stop. Uh, because I completely forgot about the time. I have places to be and things to do. And good thing I I forgot about it and I remembered uh, at an appropriate time. So now I don't have to rush, but this is the end of the stream, right? The last thing we got is that uh, people can take away the strike. So he, he's also pleading for that. Uh, so we're going to come back to this another time. There's a lot more to unpack. But I gave you the, the benefit, not the, the benefit of basically going through the most important stuff so you can come on the podcast tomorrow and me, ALT Insider, and um, Fantastic Mr. Sam, Baxter Zivchenko, and uh, Steve of the Dead, we're going to be there on the podcast uh, talking about all this nonsense. And it's going to be fun. So show up, go subscribe. Uh, you can become a member now if you want to. There's a lot of perks. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, this stream is done. Maybe there's going to be a sequel. Probably, I guess. Uh, unless some big drama comes out. Because there still hasn't been a sequel to the, uh, the Rambo and Howard saga. But uh, at least fortunately, many other people cover that. So he can go and, and finish over there. Okay. Thanks everybody for showing up. Uh, I told you what is going to happen next podcast tomorrow. I guess that is all. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the, the gift bomb by Alex Monty. I hope everybody took a, a gifted membership. Uh, you can spam those emotes while I'm gone. Actually, you can't. Psych. So that's it. Bye. Uh, no music. And the stream is done now.